Happy Thursday, familia. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. So good to see all of you back again, once again, to do it all over again, right? Hang out, playing, doing everything that we need to do. And Naomi, Naomi coming in first again. Naomi, Naomi, what's up with that? What's, what's with those ninja skills now, huh? Uh, coming in, coming in that quickly, coming in. Uh, Fiona, welcome in. Uh, Cherry Cola, Cherry Cola, have a great day at the office. We'll miss you, like always. The amazing Fiona, we're gonna miss her. Uh, Michael, Michael is gonna be on the lurking. Michael, please have a great day. We're gonna miss you too. We're gonna miss, we're gonna miss Michael a lot. Cause you know, Michael, my, my Michael brings so much happiness and laughter into the stream so we're gonna we're gonna miss michael uh riley ks gaming welcome in riley good morning how are you brandy vice hello hello good morning good morning brandy uh d cozy welcome in d cozy welcome in uh let's see who else we got uh kate kate welcome in classy welcome in love seeing kate love seeing classy here ali Good morning. I work from home and every everyone is emailing me today. I'll be here in lurk mode. No problem. No problem, Ali. Ali, please, please, please have a great day at work, uh, especially from home. Have a great day. Uh, don't let those emails stress you, you know, you know, just one step at a time. One email at a time, right? One email at a time. Flow B. Good morning, Papa Jersey. Flow B. Good morning. Also, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, as you know, Thursday. So Thursday, we've been doing Power World on Thursday. Uh, and today, we're, we're going to work a little bit on the base. You know, no, nothing of the major structure that I need to do. But we're going to do final, you know, work on some stuff. Um, maybe work work on some inside of the building. See what we need. Uh, try some decoration. Maybe try a couple new things. I do still want to work on a couple of the buildings that we already did, finish some decorations and stuff like that. So we're going to do a little bit of that today, you know? Uh, most of the time when I do power stream, we've been doing resource grind and stuff like that because usually I need that for bills. But, you know, I figure do something a little different in power today and do a little bit of work, a, a, a little bit of work, you know? Uh, Taki Shan, hello, hello, welcome in. How was baby girl last night? Was her teasing a bit better? Do you all manage to sleep? Yes, uh, Naomi. Uh, thank you so much for asking. And she's she's been sleeping through the night. She she just we put her down to bed, and she's still sleeping. So it's she's doing really really beautifully. Uh, yeah, definitely she she's having a such a better night. Uh, a little fussy late. Uh, right when we wanted to put her to bed, I think she was a little with a little discomfort. But after after we managed to put her to bed, she she's been sleeping through the night. Uh, failing, welcome in. Failing, welcome in. How are you, failing? How are you? Ooh, classy doesn't have to go to work until one today. Ooh, so you have a nice relaxed morning today, classy. I like that. Take it easy, relax, have a great breakfast. Okay, classy, don't, you know, you know, enjoy that time. Enjoy that time out of the normal routine. I like that. I like that. And and thank you so much, Fiona, for putting uh, Riley's link and also Classy's link. We got Classy's link right there. Uh, amazing content creators you haven't checked them out, guys. Check them out. Okay, all right. All right, so 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 we're back. We're back, right? We're back. So let's go ahead and start uh, changing slowly the screen. Let's go ahead and start changing uh, and bring the game up. And as you can see, uh, this is where we are on the base right now, right? I had to take my mom to her eye appointment this morning. Oh, I see. Well, still have a great time with your mom, you know? Gotta always, always treasure those moments, you know? May not be fun to go to a doctor's appointment, but treasure the time that you're spending with your mom. That's what's going to be so important. So many, so so many amazing content creators here. I know, I know. Always so many amazing people. Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is what we got on the base. Uh, this is how the base is slowly shaping up. Uh, is 
it's starting to look like what I wanted. A, a lot of buildings in one small area, you know, kind of like a little community, different things going on, different sizes, different shapes, you know, to give it that feel of a little realism into it. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick because it's already getting dark. It's already getting dark. Let's go ahead and, and bring some daylight in here. Uh, Shelly Marie, welcome in. Shelly Marie. Shelly Marie, welcome in. Okay, it's always... I'm going to have to move this bed because every time I want to get off the bed, it's always trying to do a little more of a Spider-Man walk. All right. And guys, as you can see, I finally made it to level, level 44. Uh, we got the sword. We finally got the sword. A lot bigger than I expected. I didn't, I didn't expect the, the sword to be kind of like a gray sword type. <laughs> uh, and then we also, oops, no, I didn't want to do that. And we also got the spear. So we, we, we got two, two of the new weapons. Uh, and I kind of like it because they kind of, I, I like how you carry them in the backpack. I think it just gives you that little, that little cool look, right? Like, I, I just think it looks cool. It looks cool. Okay. How's everybody? How's everybody? How's everybody doing in their power world, our uh, gaming? How, how are all of you doing? Everybody doing great? Everybody's doing good? Try to play Nightingale last night for the first time. How that how that go, Classy? How did that go? Oh, Shelly, I hope you have a good appointment. I hope that you have a good appointment. Okay. All right. So we so we're gonna start our uh, working. We're gonna be talking and working, talking and working. I don't think you like it. Okay. No problem. No problem. It's good to know all that feedback. Power for a B. Too busy testing Dinkon stamina. And how are you liking the stamina? Uh, how are you liking that stamina system, uh, Riley? I know. I know more people are testing it now. People are doing more of the food buff testing. Uh, how are you guys liking it? The people that are testing the stamina in Dinkon. How are you guys liking it? Does it feel like more of a chore? Does it feel like more work? It would be a bit to get used to it. I can see that. I can see that. I've, I've been observing a few people uh, doing doing their thing, right? Okay, all right. So something that we... I don't love the stamina, honestly, because I have a hard time remembering. <laughs> you, I, I don't know. Who, who was it? I don't know, but somebody mentioned we're going to need a cheat sheet, right? Like a little cheat sheet and write that stuff down just to remember, right? But game, game chi uh, shining new things. Yeah, I mean, I mean, games are always changing and they're always evolving, right? I mean, it's bringing that little more survival realism into it, so... All right. This is always a little picky right there. All right, let's go ahead and put that one. Oh, wait, I forgot that I needed to bring because I'm going to be in a whole different spot. And I don't have my... Oh, I guess I can use this one. Let's see. There we go. I mean... I think I'm definitely going to try to change this to uh, the other one because it builds it more instant. So let's change my power real quick. Let's change the power. Oops. No. And grab one that I need uh, so we can do more building quicker when we're out of the way. All right. Let's grab that and go like this. I'm glad I tried a game out though. At least I know. Exactly, yeah. But game changing new thing. Oops, game changing. Game changing. <laughs> uh, and it will make things instantly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was changing it. I thought I already had him on me. Um, so last night. Oh, wait. Somebody hasn't eaten in a while. 
might be stuck somewhere. Yeah, I don't I don't know where. I don't know where where Steph Magic is at. So let's go ahead and there we go. Making sure, making sure they're eating right. Uh, let's see what we got. Anibu makes it instant play at night girl last night. Also, love the lore, beautiful worlds. Ooh, because he likes it. That's the great thing about games like, like that. Like, different people, you know, are gonna like different games for different reasons. You know, you may one game has a better mechanic that fits better another person. I'm trying to see. Okay, there we go. All right, let's put that there. Let's, oh, wait, I got the wrong one. There we go. And instantly build. Look at that. Look at how quickly he built that. And now we delete the one on the bottom. There you go. All right, so so what you guys saw there, you know, I know you guys seen it. Maybe other people have you seen other people doing it. Maybe you saw it on my video. But basically, what are we, what are we doing is fake, uh, like fake flower boxes that people can put outside their window. So we're using the benches because they kind of flow, right? So we're using that and then you can go ahead and start putting different different flowers. I do, uh, well, not different flowers, kind of the same pot, but I do wish that we had more, uh, let me put, I wish we had more stuff at the moment. But I know, I know in the future we will. We're probably going to get a little bit more stuff going on. So let's go ahead and put another one. Let's put, let's put three on this one, like that. And then turn it around and put a, a little bit like that. And just make it feel different, right? When, when you, when you kind of use all this over and over and over again, I do recommend, like, you just keep turning them in different section like this one we make like a little archway like this instead of putting it all flat even you know uh because we can only use the same item so many times but then just give a shape right uh, make it go circular make it go in a in an oval shape right uh maybe just alternate maybe make a zigzag you know there's different ways that you can do uh even using the same item uh, also by turning them in different directions, as you can see here. Maybe, maybe you just want the pot to face just completely white in the front, so you hide all the vines in the back. Just kind of play with it and see what kind of shapes you like as you're doing this, right? All right, so let's do that. Bring it in again, and one more time. Now, I wish that the AI would detect that there's more to build than just one thing, so, I don't know why it does this, but you kind of have to, like, bring him back out, put him out. He builds one. Then he stands. Then you bring him back in, bring him back out. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a little quick quick way, right? All right, so now we can delete that. And look at that. I do feel like this gives it a little bit of a extra feel into, into the build, right? Like, it just takes away that little extra flatness from the wall, and it just gives it a little more character. I really love this look and design that people are doing. Ivan, buenos dias, Jersey. Nice to see you again, Ivan. Buenos dias. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Welcome back in. Okay, so over here, over here, I'm thinking to do a little something just simple for now, just to add a little bit, right? It looks kind of empty, so we want to do a little, maybe an, a little seating area here. So let's see what we got. And we start adding a couple, you know, I do want to add maybe a little bit of color, but as you can see, this one will be a little too big. Or maybe we can still work it. Maybe we'll still use it. Because I, I kind of want to add some color into this base. Because they're, you know, it's a lot of brown and a lot of green and a lot of cement, right? So we got to start using some of these stuff to bring color. Donna, Jersey, I lost my main account on Power. Oh, no. Donna, oh no, Brain Seer, welcome in. Oh my gosh, Donna, I lost my main account of power, level 50 with all my good pal. So got to start over, did use any months and never cheat, uh, cheated. Good morning, coffee for all, Donna. Okay, uh, Donna, uh, let me ask you a question. 
This happened to me in an in another game a long time ago. And what game was it? I forgot. Uh, but do you happen to play Power in two different computers? Do you happen to do that? And then and then with with Steam with with the Steam Cloud save, if you don't let one upload completely and then Kind of, if it was halfway uploading, but then you shut down your computer and then you go to another one, and it never finished. It kind of like doesn't grab it, and it kind of reformats the file because it didn't do this, and it grabbed this from here. Do you happen to play in two different computers? No, only one. Okay, so okay, so it wasn't nothing to do with Steam Cloud. Oh man, Donna, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. I wonder how that happened. Oh man, Donna, I have no idea. It's the first first one I've heard that has happened to. Did you happen to report it in their official Discord just to see? Uh, just to see. I mean, may, maybe you can submit a ticket. Maybe they can do it. There is a fix, but I can't get a head around at the moment. Oh, there is a fix. Okay. I'm sorry, Donna. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I mean, I I know since you know probably a lot about the game now, I know you can probably like speed through it. Uh, what what I would suggest, Donna, since you were already level fifty and you did it normal, legit, I would say crank that XP uh, level up booster so you can le level up real quickly because you already did it, right? You got it to level fifty uh, to my account. So if you're gonna start again, I say. Increase that XP rate. So every time you're catching or doing everything, you're just leveling up, you know, because you already went through it. Unless you wanted to do it again normal, you already went through it. I would suggest do that. Uh, and then if you want to, just for now, just to get caught up to kind of to where you were, I would say make the cash rate of the pals easier if you wanted to. Crank that up. Uh, make it easier to cash. So you can kind of kind of get to the level that you were. Uh, and then bring it back to normal, right? If you want to continue to play in a normal setting. Because I, you already made it to 50. You did it legit. You know, you, you did it the way you wanted to. And if you had to start again, I'll, I'll, I'll probably say just, cr especially the XP, the level up, right? To unlock everything again. I will say, just crank it up. Crank it up. That way, when you catch something, you get so much XP and you go and go from there. It is safe the file that were on your computer, Donna. Uh, you said, I've been here all stream, and you just noticed me. Brain Seer, Brain Seer, Brain Seer, Brain Seer. Yes, I just noticed you, okay? Uh, oh, no, Donna, that will be frustrating. Um, uh, I've tried to play Zelda Breath of the Wild, but just couldn't get into it. Too confusing for me. Really classy. A little confusing, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little. I'm trying to see what. Let's go ahead and do a little seating area out here real quick, right? So now one thing that we need to put back in the base, I don't know where yet, but we got to put kind of like the wooden counter back uh, because that was in front of the house before. But I did took it off, so now we, we slowly got to bring this back at some point, right? I'm trying to see if I prefer any other table, but I don't see anything that really calls my attention at the moment. So I think, well, I kind of, yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do this one real quick. All right, let's put that there. Let's build that up right there. I just managed to finish my main storyline in DDV. Has so much to catch up on. <laughs> Naomi, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great, okay? Arborita. Arborita, welcome in. How are you, Arborita? I just like to troll. <laughs> I never played any other Zelda games growing up. I played lots of Pokemon games, though. My brother was one that played Zelda games. Well, I mean, uh, the old Zelda games didn't have all that, like, survival aspect to it. Like, 
eating weapons breaking and all that so when a lot of people started playing Breath of the Wild it was either a breath of fresh air that it was super successful for Nintendo so it was a it, it was great but a lot of people that were old school people that play Zelda they were kind of confused you know they were they didn't know how to to kind of handle it right okay so let's go ahead and put a little bit of this all right and let's go ahead and grab another one And let's go ahead and make this one a little turn this way. Okay. We're just doing a little bit, a little bit of trying to figure things out, right? See what looks good, what doesn't look good in different areas. Uh, let's go ahead and put a couple plants right here. I kind of want to put one right here. Kind of at the edge. And you know what we, you know what I, may, I might do? Maybe we make a little plant wall back here just to give it a little bit of something more to look at. And let's bring this one like that to the front completely. There we go. Okay. And let's bring and do this. You see how the... Oh, wait. He did it. Go. Go. Build the other one. No? Ah. He left. Sometimes... Most of the time, they don't detect that I got more. I don't know the one that you bring in, right? Now, the other pals could not make it in here. If I didn't have the table and all that stuff in there, they would have made it. So it's, that's something that you start seeing more and more as you're, as you're building. You can start seeing that you got to leave that one tile for your pals to go and make it. That's how you make sure. If you want to make something functional, always make sure that you have one path, one path and that nothing blocking it, if you want the pals to make it right through. So the other day, I was trying to do here, uh, let me show you, I was going in here, and I was trying to make right here, I was trying to put some like towel racks and stuff like that, and what was happening is once I did that, none of the pals, they, they will make it to up to right here. They were trying to make it to the hot spring, they'll make it right here, and then they will turn around, and then they were never using the hot spring. So, and that's when I started realizing, oh, they need the whole pathing. So nothing can be in the way of the pathing in a way. It's, 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 it's very strange because sometimes they do make it and sometimes they don't make it in. Uh, Boosie, Boosie, welcome in. I couldn't, I couldn't log back into the game last night for some reason. I just had a black screen keep saying couldn't save every three seconds. Uh, in what game, Flo B? Uh, this one, Power World? You've been having issues with Power World 2? Okay, so what we're going to do is I do want to add another. Okay, so something that we saw with, our, what was it in Arborita yesterday? I want to see if that's something, where was it? Was it in storage, right? In storage. Was it this, right? So we can do put it on the outside. Look at that. Okay, okay. I wonder if this looks good or not. It's a little bigger. All right, let, let me let me put that there right there. Let me see. You know. For right here, this might not be bad. At least in this section here, maybe. Uh, let me try this. Put that there like that. All right, they're still coming in. They're still walking. Still functional. That's good to know. That's good to know. So you can actually put cabinets like this outside of the wall. So they don't have to be inside of the home, as you can see. So that's something that we kind of noticed yesterday when we were doing the member stream and we were looking inside the homes. So, so this is cool because you can do it on the outside. It doesn't have to have like a roof. I wasn't sure if we needed like a roof to detect it uh, and that you can play like cabinets, but it lets you put it on the outside. So you can also use this as if you wanted to. Uh, let's bring this here. You can use this also as another 
uh, flower uh, place to put this here like that. And also gives, uh, it'll start giving uh, more texture. It's also extra storage as well. Exactly, Aborita. It, it, you can use this as extra storage now too. So it'll add extra storage. I mean, it's only two space, but if the pals want to put something here, it just gives you more more room, right? But also, you know, it, just, it, it, it gives a little more character, especially adding the plants, right? Adding extra plants is, is what helps a lot of the time this type of builds, adding the vines adding the plants, it's just gonna help out. Now, that gives me ideas also, so when we are doing, you know, so there's the towel rack right there that I was not able to use. The exit sign, emergency exit wall sign. Okay, all right. All right, so that's something that I really wanted to test. Now, it's gonna be up to you what you prefer. Maybe you like the cabinet look like that on the outside. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe you still prefer the benches. The benches just gives it a, a different look. Chercola, I left my reader glasses at the office and I'm working from home today. So I'm squinting. <gasps> oh no, Riley, Riley, please don't get a headache, okay? Do not get a headache. Uh, Miss Tville Gaming, welcome in. Miss T, how are you? Uh, Miss T, how are you today? Yeah, I was, I was playing last night, Boosie, and I got kicked out and disconnected, and it does seem to happen often. Really? Really, Boosie? I... Now, yeah, I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking right now. It, we didn't have any this drop off according to the. According to the to the server. It, it, it never crashed. So the disconnection could be an internet thing. Now you're in California and the servers are in Miami. So it is that the farther the distance is one player to uh, to the server, you can encounter a little disconnect. And that happens to any game, in any game, in any server as well. Yeah, cause you're in the West Coast. So yeah, sometimes you gotta have like really super fast internet uh, speed and uploads for the server sometimes uh, for that happens. But we do have people from all the part of the world, like Australia. Uh, but maybe that's why maybe in Captain also, maybe it's nine, now and then has a little. Uh, I, know, I know our server is in Miami. I got disconnected around 6.30. Now, now don't forget that every four hours, the server does restart itself, right? To clear the memory, clear the cache, make sure it's running smooth. Uh, every four hours, I don't know exactly when the four hours shut, but every four hours the server will shut down and it does a cleanup for about five minutes. So in five minutes, if it's the normal disconnect, if you happen to log in and it disconnects and you can't connect, you, it takes five minutes for the server to reset because it's doing like a little cleanup because Power World is a little hectic. Even in Power World's public servers, you know, they're very hectic uh, and they're, they're still trying to optimize power to run better on servers. Uh, so what, what basically what they're doing is every four hours, they kind of disconnect and they're cleaning up, right? Cleaning memory, cleaning this, and then it reconnects and then it's gonna be running for another four hours. Uh, I would love nothing more, but when we get kicked, they get left out port, yeah. They, 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 they do get left out, yeah. Okay. I found, I found coal once in a sulfur deposit and he never found it again. Noble heart, oh no. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this here for now. I think I do like the look of it. I think it just gives it a little bit something here. So I think it's pretty good. So I think we're gonna leave it for now. I'll see, I'll decide later on if I don't love it or not completely. Same with me, Brandy. 
Arborita. I found a cool couple spot. Uh, there are several areas where you can mine coal. Some creators have given the coordinates or where you can get them. Yeah, that one of the most popular for coal, of course, is this particular base right here. Let me show you. If you now, a lot of people do build in here. If you're trying to be different, then there are other places. But this is like one of the most popular places right here to build for uh, to get coal, right? Uh, if you look at the map, if you are at the starting area that is right here, right? Like normally this is where you start the plateau of beginnings. Here's a landmark right here, the red, right? And then you get kind of like the wetlands right here. So this is another one. So if you go this way, and then you go up that river right here, in this section right here in the river that you can see right here, if you come over here, you this is a this is a very popular area. If a lot of people will recommend this area because you get iron as you can see, so they're they're doing a lot of iron. No, no, not iron. Uh, ore, uh, ore right here gathering. And then on this side, as you can see, this is coal. And usually there's about five coal rocks, I believe, in here. And so you get both, you know? And then you you, you can have a whole team. Uh, very popular area, as you can see. Uh, you just set up food, set up hot springs, set up a place for the pals to sleep at the moment. And, and then they start collecting. And as you can see, I already got like 10,000 coals, one stack of 10,000, already at 4,435. Uh, and then, of course, I've been using the ore because to make uh, the refined ignat, right? So I already got 7,000 here, and I got 4,000 of those. Uh, and I think, actually, I got to pick up this. Let's get closer, a little bit closer. Let's open that. Okay, so now I got 6,000 of the Ingna. So now we're going to do, and I just keep going back and forth. Uh, they, they're actually going to get more coal quicker for some reason compared with the other one. Uh, so I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to max production. And I just keep going here, and I just leave it. I do have this. This is the particular power that I have on this base. He has a level 3 Ignat. Uh, fire so I just let him do his thing uh, and as you can see the way I'm running this base at night uh, I do have these are the powers that I'm using and one of the reasons I got this particular ones here and this one this two and all this this is kind of the night thing because they never sleep right they work during the day and they work at night they never sleep so that way I'm, I'm constantly picking things up so when when all my Anibus are sleeping, right, and they can't transport because they need to sleep, these people are still either mining and picking up everything. So it's really nice. So it's really nice. But this is a great location. <laughs> 10,000 coal, ONG, just rub it in. Well, I mean, I'm going to get to use it at some point. But, yeah, but as you can see, they're just picking everything up. And I do have a night, uh, and I like having this nighttime team. It's really nice. Now, the great thing about the Tomcats is that they, at nighttime, they're going to concentrate on breaking for ore. Because at first, they were always working on coal. But because they, everything was level 3 mining, so they're always going to prioritize the coal first. But by using the Tomcats and having them at night, they don't do the coal. They only do the ore. So it's really nice because then at night, I do have a team that will concentrate on picking ore. And then when it gets daytime, the Anubis, they go to coal. Once they finish breaking coal, they go back to uh, the, the, the ore section. And then if they catch up on everything that sometimes they do, then they'll help also transport. That's how I got everything kind of set up. You said you can make a detailed base on this location? Yes, I am going to. Once we finish the main base, this is the next area that I'm going to make my industrial site, right? Using all the other stuff. So, uh, Jasmine uh, Melvada, welcome in, by the way. Welcome in. And, yes, we're going to make an industrial area here. I do got a couple ideas. And I know a lot of people build here, so I'm going to do my own take on a build here. 
and I already got plans for it. I think I know how I want to approach this idea. And there we go. Everybody's going. So, and basically what I did for the food, as you can see, I got one of each. So we got her. And then we got level three watering. And we got this one right here. And they do amazing. They support everything. There's always plenty of food. I never running out of food, as you can see. I already got a stack. <laughs> Look how many berries they're doing. Because all I have is berries right now. They're just berry plantations. And if for some reason my other base is running low of food for whatever reason, I can always just grab food from here and take it to my other base. Lovely. I don't regret uh, subbing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So glad that you're here. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the other base. Now, I haven't started my third base yet. I, I know I need to put it somewhere we can get more resources, but I haven't decided where uh, just yet. Okay, all right, so it's daytime again. I have this base as my full production base, and I have a house here too. I know, Shelly, you did amazing. I remember you showing my, you did like a two-story or three-story. It looks really cool what you did. Uh, all right, let me catch up on chat real quick. Let's see. Yeah, that's where my second, yeah, uh, a lot of people put their second base right there. Is That's a great location for a second base as your main gathering for coal and or like everybody does it like and don't feel bad if you feel now there are other places that's great for or just or by itself if that's what you're looking for but if you're looking one that can kind of take care of two birds at once that's one of the best locations there is uh okay all right you're saying if you hit east from the northern islands there is a huge desert area with lots of resources Oh, really, Boosie? Ooh, like, what kind of resources, Boosie? What kind of resources? Okay. So, something that I do want to do here. That I want to add a little window right here. Kind of bring a little bit of a... There we go. All right, I like that a little better. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and add one window on this side. Just one, I may add it on this one right here on this wall. Just doing a couple tweaks that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I haven't done it. I don't wanna put windows all the way around on the second floor, at least not in every wall, just a little bit so it can kinda look a little bit better. And since we broke the wall here, we need to fix this one. So let's go ahead and fix this real quick. And add that there. Okay. All right. That way, when I'm walking here, I kind of like having a little bit of window. I, th uh, I think that feels a little bit better. At least uh, for, for me, right? Aesthetic, right? Such an avian violence. April, uh, honey, do you have a base in the desert? Cool, sulfur, and ore. Ooh, sulfur. Uh, which one is the next resource that, uh, more important? Uh, is a quartz more important than sulfur? I think you need sulfur if you're doing any of the, like, the any of the weapons, right? I, th I, th I think... Uh, I think quartz is the next more important, right? Quartz is more important than, than the other ones, right? I think quartz is the more important. Uh, Tricias, Tricias, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Leo, Jersey finally made it to your live stream watching at work. Love it. Uh, Leo, Christian, welcome in, welcome in. So good to see some of the new faces. Uh, some of the new name, no faces, some of the new usernames, some of the new profile. Uh, some of you have subscribed because of the Power World video. So nice to see you on a Power World stream. Yeah, right now we're, we're, we're kind of doing the Power World streams on Thursday, one, once a week, uh, because and then I do mostly on the video side, right? Okay, all right, so let's continue. I do want to continue. I've been, I've, I've been chatting a lot. I've, I've, I've been talking a lot. Okay. Uh, okay, so I do want to co uh, continue to add a little more of the benches. So I want to add a bench on this side. Not on this window, but I do want to add it more on this one. 
and we want to add it on the top. So once again, we're going to add that there. Now, I did try this as having a little roof up here, maybe a little bit kind of like a little like little port or area. And I don't know, sometimes I like it. And then sometimes I prefer open. I think I still prefer open and just to give it more of a clear view. And this is why I'm going to add the bench instead of uh, the little roofing uh, over here. So, okay, so let's go ahead and add this. And one more time, if, you, if you've if not seen this or if you've seen it, so basically is what we're doing is the, the benches can float, you know, once you have it set up. So put it as close as you can to the wall. So let's put it right there. Uh, bring, uh, make sure right here, since my pals can't get to me, so I got to use, uh, bring one pal that can actually build uh, quicker if you haven't. I think everybody has this one, so it just makes it a lot quicker. So let's go ahead and get another bench. If you don't move, right, if you don't move, if you're good at it and you don't make your character move around, then things land right on top, right? It makes it a lot easier instead of having to realign it. So every time you do this, if you can try not to move your character, it will make your life a lot easier. But sometimes we do move things by accident, so that's okay. Uh, all right, so let's bring that there, bring it back in. Now we're going to delete the bottom one, as you can see. And let's go ahead and bring a little bit of... And this one, we may just do one. Let's just, just do one. Or maybe we do... No, let's just do the one, just to see. Oh, wait. <laughs> I almost forgot I need to build it. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Thank you so much. Come back in. All right, and there we go. All right, so we're breaking that. Now, the, the floating bench do have, uh, I mean, they don't get all the way to the back. So another way that you can hide a little bit of the bench and stuff, the bench, is by adding vines like this and finding a good spot. Okay, so over here, as you can see, okay, let me, sometimes you just gotta do it in different ways. Okay, so this one is overlapping, right? It's detecting that's overlapping. I think what I needed to do first is I forgot. I think what I, f I forgot that I needed to do the other way. So basically what you gotta do, look, let's just do it again for the sake of you guys seeing it. Uh, but basically you gotta put the vines first and then And then you can do the the bench. Now, by, by putting the vine, this this does help kind of filling that gap that's behind it, you know. So if you remember to do this first, it will save you a little bit a little bit of trouble, you know. So you can add it like that, and then we can add the bench. So let's go ahead and add the bench right here. Uh, let's push it back. All right, and I think I got this kind of in the middle. I think I got a it center. It's, oh, I moved. I moved. Uh, I just said not to move, right? And I moved. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bring this pile. Uh, bench. Okay, it landed right there. There we go. Bring the pile. Builds it up. Delete that bench. Let's just put, go ahead and put the flower. Let's put it right center on this one. Builds it. There we go. And we break that. Okay. And there we go. As you, and you see it now how the vines, they kind of help fill up, filling that gap. You know, if the gap bothers you, then you can put the vines behind it like that. If the gap doesn't bother you, you know. Uh, let me show you uh, some of the ones like over here, right? Uh, we, if you, the gap doesn't look that bad, you know, sometimes uh, like this one. If you look this one on the side, as you can see, there's the gap, you know, is, is if you see it, you see it, and if you don't, you don't. It's, it's, it's gonna be more your choice, right? Uh, if, you, if it bothers you, then you can really feel free to 
add vines or something like that. Uh, the the bench will never touch the wall, so there's always going to be that little gap. But besides that, uh, I still think it's a really cool effect, and I really like it more. I just really like it. And once I saw this picture, it's just, I really like the way it looks. Now, another, another, another one that you can use, that if you saw it on one of my, on the last video that I did, this is gorgeous. Uh, okay. Let me look at that real quick. Uh, okay, okay, April. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that when, once we get closer to the to the end. We'll definitely do that. Okay. Uh, let let me show you. There's this shelving right over here. Uh, like this one. Now this one has kind of like a little uh flower. Uh, no, a cup and kind of like a vase. So this is really good. Like you can do it like for the outside like this. So I added this one like out here and for like this little sitting area here. So it, de depending on that one, right? This, this particular shelf, like if I don't like this idea, if you imagine like there's guards here or something, you can take this off and add this one instead like this on the outside. And maybe people there, maybe this is out here for people to grab a little drink or something. You know, you sometimes you gotta use your imagination, but you can put this one on the outside like that. And it just gives you a little bit something, right? Just a little bit of, of something. Uh, and you'll put, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's different, right? De depending how you wanna do it. I use uh, hanging vines as current and, and in the windows inside and out. I seen that. I seen that. Okay, so another good trick that I saw that, you know, I, I, the Power community has been sending me a lot of pictures, right? A lot of pictures to ideas that people have done. So let me show you this one. Now, this one is going to be, let me, let me pick a good place that I can do this. Uh, let's go to this building here because we are going to have to take the roof off for a moment. So there are some... Some stuff that you need to do. You're amazing, and I love you so much. I just meant when you get a chance to read it after stream. Yeah, exactly. No, don't worry. We'll, 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 we're going to do it. Okay, uh, let me find. Okay, so let's say. Let, let me just try it on this one, right? Okay, so we're going to. So if you ever wonder. Oops, I didn't mean to throw a ball. Okay, so you see like this, uh, this right here? And you see how we can't put it? You pick it, and it's saying that things are overlapping. You know, and this is, hopefully this is something that they get fixed, right? But I'm picking, I'm picking the bus stop, right? The antique bus stop. You can't put it. So if you're wondering why, if you, if you go here, let me see. Here, it works. You see how it works here? But it doesn't want to work here. That's because of the roof. It's just the way, hopefully they improve that. But if you take the roof off, right? Let's say you take off the roof, and now you can do this, right? So this is a really cool little trick that I've seen people have been doing. Now, they're, they're making their bathrooms or just using this, right? And then they may enclose this whole wall. So let's say you want to put it right there. I'm going to put it right there. Let's go ahead and close that, right? And if you want to make this to a bathroom, then you're set. But let's say you don't want to make this room as a bathroom. It's just a room that you, you want a window to sew on the side. So by putting that like that, it looks like you got curtains. Look at that. It looks like you got curtains. It is so cool. It is so cool. And then, of course, you can always add the roof back if this is something that you, if you needed the roof to be back. Let me see. Oh, no, you can't add the roof back. I thought that you could. Oh, okay, wait, it won't let you really? It doesn't let you add the roof back? I thought I saw a person adding it back. Okay, I guess you can. So, okay, so I guess this particular one, if you wanted to do this, but you could do the wall if you really do want to see this, and you can make that. Or if you really might want to make this into a restroom area, then you can put the door like that. 
and then have a little division. And then you come in, there's the bathtub. You can finish making the bathroom area, but on the outside, you can have curtains. Now you can have curtains like this. Agnes on devices. Uh, oh, that's why I can't place any furniture inside. So yeah, so any furniture that's tall is not meant to have. So let's say you wanna put, let's say you wanna put this, uh, this one, this one is very popular and a lot of people get frustrated because they're trying to place it. So as you can see, I can place it in here, but if I was gonna place it, oh, it, wait, it fits in this one. Okay, sometimes, okay, so it fits now. I don't know what happened. I was trying to place it earlier, but yeah, if the furniture is tall, if the furniture is tall, right? You're not gonna be able to place it, right? Uh, if it's touching the wall. Now here's one, that you got these curtains, right? Do you see these curtains right here? And let's say you're trying to place it, some people are trying to place it like in front of the windows. Now, I, I have heard, some, somebody wrote me to explain, because you don't want it right here, right? You, you're trying to make it fit more in here, like this, and you want to put it like this, right? All what you need to do first is delete the floor. Now, now you can place it. So delete the floor, place the curtain, and this one should let you add the floor because I, I seen it being done. And add the floor. And there you go. And now you got your curtain. So if this is a question that you guys were wondering a lot, so there you go. This is how you add the curtain. You know, the, the way power works in the mechanics, the more you understand it, is when there's some items that are well developed and they work properly, like these curtains, either they should know that it's gonna clip down, right? But the way it's detecting that there's something against it, so it won't let you put it. So it's just decoding, so hopefully they can work on that. But it, I, I know this is a very popular question that always gets asked, is I can't place the curtains. I don't know how to place them. It doesn't work, I gotta place them so high. But no, it's, that's not the case. It's the same way as the bathtub or anything that's tall. Uh, same thing with some of these uh, some of these storage bookcases. Like they, uh, like, uh, okay, I need to make nails. I'm trying to see if I had anything that's tall. Uh, so as you can see, let's say, like in this room, you see I can't put the, the bookshelf here because the roof is right here. So, but if I go here, I have no roof. So because I have no roof, now I can place it. So you gotta, you gotta make sure if you, if you wanna have a roof or no roof uh, and stuff like that. Now, I, th I seen things in place. I, I thought, let, let, let me try this one real quick just to see if this is gonna work. But, cause I thought the bathtub, you can add the roof, or I guess you can. I wanna check on this one real quick. So this, this one particular, let's say we, we put it right here, right? Let's put it right there. Let's let's bring this into build. So now that gets built. And if I go over here, would it let me add a roof, right? On the top. Okay, so it won't let you add a roof still. So so yeah, so some of this particular furniture, even though you have the space, so this one's different than the bathtub, because in my opinion, it does have the space. So it should let you put the roof, but it won't let you. So I'm hoping that these are things that they're gonna fix eventually. But if you were curious why some things you can't put inside the house, it's the roofing or the flooring. So you gotta, especially this curtain. I know this one is a very high demanded questions, but you can still put it. You just gotta make sure to take out the, the stuff. And April Honey with the 10 gifted memberships. April Honey, April. April, thank you so much for the 10. Uh, the 10 gifted membership. Uh, if you receive a gifted membership from the one and only April Honey, please say thank you so much uh, to her. If you're here in the chat, it's intense. Oh, sorry, Misty. Sorry, Misty. Yeah, since I was explaining, concentration uh, mo is intense. Um, Thank you so much, April. Thank you so much. Uh, and welcoming everybody. If, you, if you're new here in the channel, please make sure to link and your Discord and your YouTube so you can see some. sometimes I put stuff 
for the members or when I, we link videos and stuff like that. So you can see it also there. If if you are going to be the member for the next month, every Wednesday we, we do our member streams. Uh, also, we do got emotes for you guys to use and... We do member challenges, so check out, if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes, check out the member tab and check out all the previous videos that we do for members. Especially if you're looking for something to cook, right? If you're looking for something to cook. Okay, all right, so let me read back real quick. Take the angles roof off. Okay, but it's actually on the no allow. Awesome thing. Take the angles roof off. Uh, Leo J, uh, take the angle roof off for for what? Take the angle roof off and then put the flat roof. Oh, wait. Do it first. Okay, let me see. Okay, so let me try what Leo is saying real quick. Michael, with all the heart. Uh, no one saw that. I need to get going. Love you. April, we love you. Thank you so much, April. No worry. Just joking. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> Misty. Okay. Uh. So. 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 Let me try. So let me try this. What they're. What they're saying. Right. All right. So let me put back. Since we're here. Right. So let's try this out. All right. So let's put that there. Let's bring the. He's gonna build that. Oh wait. Oh wait. No. That one's taller. That. This one actually will clip in. Okay. No, not that. I picked the wrong one. I wanted to pick this one, right? All right. Let me put that one there. And let's go ahead and build that. All right. So he said to take the angle roof off. And then put the roof. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. Oh, so that's okay. Good tip. Good tip. Okay, and then put the roof back. And put the roof back. Oh my goodness. So that, okay. So is that the same case over here with the bath stop? Then that's how, okay. So we take that off. That's how, okay. Now, ideally, you don't, I mean, ideally, that's not the best way we want to build all the time because you're kind of undoing, but and there we go. Okay, okay. All right, and there we go. And now you have a, a roof, and there's the bath stop, there's the bookcase, and there's that. And if you wanted the roof. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. All right, okay, okay, so so you guys saw that, right? Uh, so you guys saw uh, uh, Leo. Leo, you need to take the angle off, then add the flat roof, and then back to the angle top. Leo, Leo J, Leo, Leo, thank you so much for that. See, I knew somebody explained that to me, but I, it, the angle roof, I didn't think about the extra part of the roof that sometimes, yeah, you can't put the floor in, yeah. Okay, all right, so, all right, so you guys saw that, right? So if, if you've been trying to design and decorate your inside of your home, and you're wondering, now there are other furniture that are gonna clip, like this one right here, like the antique bookshelf when we were gonna build that one, if you notice, it is taller. So I think that one, you can definitely not put the roof because it's gonna clip into that. But this one definitely was not touching, so. So, okay, so you saw it here. Naomi tro uh, Troll T-shirt is ordered. I can be a troll string and outside of string as well now. Naomi, thank you so much for everybody that started. Uh, some of you did order the troll shirt. Uh, one person ordered the troll mug. Thank you so much uh, for that. You know, is I mean, you guys wanted it. And I know some of you wanted a t-shirt. And I saw the people that ordered it were the people that really wanted to buy the t-shirt. So I want to say thank you so much for that, for, for the support on buying the new troll, the Jersey Games troll, little troll merch, right? Okay. All right. All right, so let's break that down uh, and do that. But, all right, so so uh, any questions on this particular part of the of the video? I, I hope that you guys uh, understood. Don't forget the curtains. If you want to put them down, you know, inside your home like this, don't forget that all you need to do is take out the floor, 
pull the curtains, and then you pull back the floor. Once again, if you have something tall and it's not letting you put it, uh, don't forget to take out the roof. If you have an angle roof, just like Leo say, take out the angle roof, place the furniture, then place the roof, and then place the angle roof. So there is a sequence, as you can see, when you're building in Power World. Uh, and sometimes, like me, you already did a building, but you need to kind of take it apart a little bit, depending on what you're going to be decorating. It's, it's, it's not... Oh, it was Ali. Ali, thank you so much, Ali, to get in the troll mug. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, Ali, you're so special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Floby, this is so extra. Yeah, yeah, they need to fix it. Now, if, if people didn't know... Uh, Power World, for the first couple of years, it was de being developed in the Unity engine that is the same engine that they got their other game, Craftopia, right? And then at the last moment, they, they hire, I guess, a very, very, very popular game developer, designer from Japan that joined their Power World, and he wanted to transfer Power World into Unreal Engine. And they kind of had a little deadline. If you read the Japanese interview and stuff like that, if you find that. I, I was very curious, so I saw the translation and you read it. And I'm trying to recall everything that they were saying. But basically, they, they started swapping everything from Unity to uh, Unreal Engine, right? And they knew everything was at first. They just wanted to have, like, the first version of, of Unreal Engine ready to be out as early access. So, and now they're doing, um, they're doing a lot of hiring so they can keep pouring out everything they've done on Unity, bring it over here. That's why when you look at early, early stuff of Power World and trailers and stuff like that, it looks a little more, 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 more like Breath of the Wild in, in a way, like that, that type of texture and artwork because it was built on Unity. But then they decided like a year and a half ago they, they did kind of the swap and they changed engines. And now they're, everything that they had done on Unity, they're trying to now make it into Unreal Engine. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and over here. So now this is something that I did wanted to fix and I kind of want to work with you guys to see what looks good or not. Okay, so we put all these beams here, right? And, and I, I like it, it doesn't bother me, you know, it's not gonna be for everybody, but this is just a hallway, right? This is just a hallway. So my idea is what can we do here? And I wanna see what it will let me do to kinda hide a little bit of this out of more. And now those are the beams so we can do, so we can have this, right? So we can have this little uh, fake railing on the top. But since we have a hallway here, I kinda wanna do something here now. Uh, there's different things that we could do. Uh, we, we can use it as a storage area. Maybe it will let you do barrels. And it doesn't you gotta be very picky at putting as close as you can, as you can see. You can go inside in the middle because that's where the trap's supposed to be. But you can kind of place it like this. You can do a barrel wall. Uh, you can do, let's see, let's go to the furniture side, I believe, right? Let me go to the furniture. Oh no, so it's not on the furniture, so it might be on the storage. Okay, like this. Uh, we can put an antique, something among, more like this, and put them in different places. Kind of hide a little bit of the wall. And we can do a long run, a long run of furniture, so okay. So if I was going to do something like this, we could do something in this direction first. Let's see. Or maybe here on this side, maybe we do a smaller one. And now all of this, because I do kind of want to hide this a little bit or make it feel a little more, more together, right? All right, so let's see. Okay, let's put that there. Now, uh, for me, how, how do we kind of look to make things look straight? I kind of look at the floor right here and kind of match the lines. That's a, a good way that I try to make things straight. Uh, Jersey, please watch watch out for fire and rays. I turned mine off, but got raided anyway, and they almost burned down my house. 
Oh no, uh, Jill. Okay, so so uh, so we did finally turn off rates, right? I did mention that. I I told everybody because at first I was playing everything normal. I've been changing my pals inside the base, so every the production is a lot better. And now they're they're very weak right now. So and a lot of you even in comments were really worried that I've done all this work and that we were gonna lose we we, we were gonna lose everything, right? So. So rays are finally, they're finally are turn off officially, they're turn off. Okay. Now this part is hard because you can't really see too well and I can't push myself back. Okay. So this part, sometimes. All right, let's see if we can make this a little more like this. And can we put it closer? Okay. And this is so. This is why we do the build video. See, this is why I don't. I don't, I don't do a lot of this. Uh, you can turn off rays. Uh, Noble heart. Yes. Yes. Uh, in the in the in the world setting. Oh my goodness! This is such. I'm trying to get it as close as possible. And it should kind of line up. I don't know why it's not lighting up. Must be the one on the back. Must be just a little off. Whew. See? This is why. <laughs> this is why. This is why I do this as build videos. And not on live stream. Because I... And when I say it on my Speedville videos that you got to be patient, please be patient. Because as you can see, it is not easy, right? All right, let's just put it there for now. Because I just really want to see. And some, sometimes these kind of things are a little more finicky just because the way... Oh, my God. Uh, it could be what I have on the back may not be aligned exactly. So let's put it there. Now, they're all not aligning the way that I really wanted to. But it's a little off, but you know. Don't miss me too much when I'm on the crooks next week. Riley, Riley, we are gonna miss you. That that message hit hard. That message hit hard yes, uh, the other day when you sent that. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. So as you can see, this is a, another good way uh, to hide something like this. You can make it like this. Okay, I'm back and lurking again. Taki Jan, welcome back. Uh, Sherry, I don't know if I say hi to you, Sherry. Welcome in. Welcome in. And Riley, thank you so much for that. And everybody, let's put some purple hearts for Riley because she's gonna be she's gonna be gone for a week. What are we gonna do without Riley? No, seriously, guys. Like truly, we we that love Riley so much. You know, it's gonna be. We're not, not, not hearing Riley's voice for a whole week. It's, it's going to be very different. Okay, Noble Heart, great, great. Yeah, and if you can check that Noble Heart. Check all those settings uh, and, see, and see what you want to change, right? Uh, there, there, there's a lot of things that you can change that are different. Okay, so, so this is one good way to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I might be able to keep two, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep one. We're going to keep that middle one. I think that one's going to work best. And I want to see if there's anything else that may match a little bit better on what we got going on here. Uh, we can do a little bit of seating. Maybe we can do a little bit of uh, seating right here. Maybe we put a little, little skew like this, like a little, little corner. Like that, just kind of hide it a little bit like that. See, you know, it is a hallway, but we know when you come to the hallway, you can see a little bit here. Maybe some people like to see here. Now, if that's not more of your taste, uh, we, we can do a little bit different and we can make a little more cozy, right? We can put like more of a chair vibe and maybe the chair is next to this, maybe looking out the window. Like, maybe the chair's kind of facing the window. 
Let's see if we can put it in here a little more inside. And let's say like it's facing a little more of the window like that. And maybe they're sitting there. Uh, there's different ways, you know, to approach a lot of this stuff. But I kind of like the idea of the little couch, but it was a little too big. Let me see this leather one. We have this leather one. I wanted something that kind of fits a little more. That way we can keep as much space as we can. And I think this one can actually fit very well. Actually, I like this a lot. So let's put that one there. And now we can bring a little bit of plan, right? Let's put this here, a little bit of the corner. And I don't know if it will let me, I don't, oh, there we go. We can put this here like this. Uh, let's make like the part of the plant is going like outside the window. So we can make it kind of like that. I wonder if it lets you put another one. Ooh, so we can, oh, we can hide a little bit of this corner. That's nice. Oh, I wonder if this corner, then it will let me do, let me check the lights real quick. Uh, antique light floor, okay. And there is, okay. So, all right, so the lamp, as you can see, you can only see like the little light bulb for some reason. So you can move it until you see that it turns blue, find a, a spot like right there. So let's put it there. And to me, that was the weirdest thing when it, when it came to the plants, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and make the lamp. Okay, so we got the lamp. And like I, like I mentioned earlier, I don't know why he doesn't want to keep working, even though there's something next to it. That needs to be, do it, do it. He doesn't want to do it. So I, I just got to call him back and do this. And do that. Okay. So now we got like this little corner, right? Because this is a little hallway. So I think this is nice. You're kind of hiding a little bit of the beams, you know? And we got a little sofa over here. Now, maybe it would have been better if I would have put a carpet. Oh, wait. You can actually put the carpet now. And we can do the long one. Let's see. No, let's do the skinny one. Yeah, let's do this one. And let's say you want to put it like right here. Maybe you want to do it. All right, let's get on the other side. And just work on your angles, you know? Sometimes you just gotta work in different ways. So let's say you wanna add a little bit right here. I think that looks pretty good. Add it right there. And there you go. So now when you're coming down here, you kind of got something. Now, don't forget when it comes to the carpet, uh, something that I've been uh, listening to different people is once you do the whole setup, right? And if you want to put the carpet like underneath the couch, then you got to have to take everything off, put the carpet, and then put placing everything on top. The carpets cannot be placed last. They have to be put first. So if you really wanted this carpet to be more in front, right? then you definitely, or underneath the couch, then you definitely need to uh, put it first, right? And and, it, and, it's a, it's, and it's a sad thing, so we're hoping that's something that they can definitely get fixed. Okay, I've been concentrating a lot and not reading chat. This is what happens when I'm designing or talking. So I promise, uh, Riley, I'm so sick, I don't, can't even feel my phony bone. Michael, oh, Michael, you're sick. Oh no, Michael. Michael, please, 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 please rest. You don't even have to be here. Rest, relax, okay? How do I join Discord? Uh, oh, Leo, uh, did you join the Discord or you still need the link? Uh, let me see. The, the link is in the description of the video. Oh, okay, okay, so... Uh, Okay, Leo, let me know if you get it. If you got it, if not, we can always put the little uh, link also in here. How about a little armory area to look like your pals are getting ready for some ray? Yeah, that's in the future. Yes, yes, uh, Leo. That's something that I do want to uh, do as well. That's a really great idea. That's a really great idea. 
Uh, thank you so much, Fiona, for putting the Discord. If anybody's trying to find the Discord link, there is always on the any video description, but it also comes out automatically. Or if you ever want it, uh, you can always let one of the mods know, and they can always put the link in there. I, I got to go to work, but thank you so much for inspiring me to work more on my new base. It's a mess, and now I want to make it look pretty, but that's how it uh, I love that. I love that, Jill. And thank you so much. It's been a while since I've seen you. So happy that, that you, you were here today. That you were here today. So now, uh, so one of the reasons I wanted to work on this area, and I'm doing it in a live stream, because uh, many people did not like this look. They're like, it's going to look ugly in the inside. And it's true, seeing all these boulders and stuff like that is not the most uh, beautiful thing in the world. Now, an, a person, uh, you know, I guess so many, you know, but they, they showed me this picture and they were using the benches, right? You, you saw how we stacked the benches, you know, all the way to the top. So they made like this beautiful bench wall and then on the very top, what they did, they added plants. So that's something that also you can do. If, you're, if, you're, if you do something like this, like you're trying to do this beautiful uh, rails on the top, right? Like this, because you, you, you want this look, right? Because it's very different, right? This, this looks really nice up here, right? You want this look on top of your porch or of your balcony area. Because, you know, you want to be different. You don't want everything to be with benches, right? But then in the middle of the home, if you're not going to close the area, you're going to see this. And maybe you're not a fan, right? So another great, another great tip that I've seen. And again, there's a lot of ideas out there with the benches, right? Floating staircases, uh, doing stairs with the benches, doing floating balcony outside of the window. Now, this is a little more complicated because I can't really see out uh, I got this, I can't really push back. So this is something that you have to think about even before you get to this other step. Well, I can't do it here. I mean, yeah, man, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, may maybe I can do it sideways. It may not be perfect, right? I'm just gonna do it just to do it, but it may not be perfect, but I, just, I do wanna show you, so. As you can see, even though I don't have the people, <laughs> the pal can still even build outside of the building. They don't even have to make it over here. But as you can see, we're building this real quick. Uh, so you can make this wall of benches, right? And it's a really, really, really cool idea. Let me bring this in. And again, we're gonna grab the bench. We're gonna jump, okay. Now the jumping part is gonna be a pain because I got a roof. So. And this is when it gets tricky with power, right? Uh, sometimes you may have to take out the roof now, but if you got things placed on the roof, then it gets everything undone. So, so we don't want to do that up here because I do have like already a seating area. But the idea, I'm going to have to do it on the outside. And let me just show you on the outside so you guys kind of know what I mean. Uh, let me go ahead and break that. Okay. So a couple things when, when it comes to if you're working on your base, and, and let's say you, you're trying to do a stairs or you're trying to do a wall. Maybe you want to hide those boulders. So, okay, so what I was trying to do, and I'll show you out here because I think it'd be a lot easier to do it out here. And by doing it out here, I'm going to have all these pals coming and build. So this will make it a little bit easier. So let's put another one here. Uh, they're going to build, jump, do another one. So we're going to go about three high, right? And if you were going to do this inside that hallway, right? Don't forget that you need to do that beforehand, right? The way PAL works. But what you can do now is add all this flower, uh, all this flower, the, this, right? And you can do this and add a bunch of this, kind of like that. And and I, I don't think if you needed to go three or four, but you add enough that then it's gonna make this beautiful rack. Now, people have been doing this little particular design right here, and this could be really great for kind of a like little fake greenhouse, right? This little design right here with the benches, right? Let's say you, you needed something for a wall. Like, look at how beautiful that looks, right? You can add that, you know, uh, maybe you wanted to do that out here, like, and do a little extra outdoor design, you know? Uh, other people, um, what other people have been doing with the benches as well, you know, they've been doing like what they call the floating uh, stair, uh, floating stairs, you know. Of course, pals cannot use it. That'll be just for you. Uh, so let's say, let's say you wanted to do this. 
and we're gonna build that there, right? So, so now we're gonna put one behind it. Now this it's gonna take you time to get everything perfect. Uh, maybe I should approach this in a whole different way myself. I think I should have gone instead of moving the way I did. I should have just stayed still and move forward, right? All right. So they're gonna build this one. Uh, so now we're gonna build another one, and as they're building that, I'm just gonna push forward myself. And let's just work backwards, okay? Um, or maybe this is better to work backwards. And when you're doing all this stuff, don't forget that it's gonna be tricky at first, right? Be patient with yourself, especially if you want everything to align perfectly. Uh, so we're gonna do another one, and then we're gonna do the third one. We're gonna do the third one right there. So as you can see, we're building a staircase. Now, you can have it like this with all the benches, you know, you can also delete the ones on the bottom, right? Uh, delete the ones on the bottom like this. Uh, there we go. And you can have kind of like a floating little steps. And as you can see, the character reacts to it. So let's say you want to do a loft in your home. And you can't use, of course, you can't use the stairs. You can't use this one because they're too long, right? They're too long. It just doesn't work. But let's say you want something special. You want something to add into your area. So you do this. So what all the people have been doing, of course, if you can, you want to get it as close as possible so there's less gap. But let's say that this is the closest you can. You know, you don't want to spend that much time. What other people have been doing is using the stool, right? And they're doing the stools. And what they've been doing is adding like little details like this, right? So they're kind of hiding some of these areas like this. And what they're doing, they're adding the stools on the side of these floating staircases that I've seen on so many pictures that I've, I've been getting from different people. And so let's go ahead and build this one. So they're going to build this one. And then we do it. It's kind of having a, it looks kind of like you're adding a little rail right next to it, right? So, and as you can see, uh, you want to get it close. Right now, I'm not doing perfectly, but you want to get it as close, kind of what you did with the first one here. So when you look at it sideways, it looks really cool because it's going to look like you got this little railing going up at the same time. So so this is another cool thing that you can do with the benches over here. Uh, your creativity amazes me. Naomi, well, this is also inspired by the community. I'm not taking any credit. This is just so many people have sent many pictures, you know, uh, of things that can be done. Now, one of the other ones that's really cool with the benches... Now, this is going to be a different effect depending who you are, right? Uh, I really like this one. Like this little green green rack. Like, I really like this. Just for the aesthetic in any house, I think it's going to look, like, really cool. Uh, I think it just looks, uh, it's going to look really, really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and break that. Break that. Break that. And as you can see, you can leave a lot of stuff floating in the air, too. But, I mean... Floating pots doesn't make any sense, right? Those, uh, I don't think we need to have those floating around. All right. All right, so so that's another another trick, right? Now, another one that people have done, let's say you don't want a porch like this, you know, uh, a floating porch, uh, well, a little balcony like this area. Now, this one, this one is interesting. I've not tried to do it myself, uh, but let me see. Let me do a fake foundation here. Uh, let me do a fake foundation. Let me do a, a wall real quick. Okay, no, and that one, this one's going to be a door. Uh, let's put a door here. All right. Okay, so so what? I don't know how they managed to do this. So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out with you guys for the first time here. Because... Uh, all right, let me put that there. Okay, and let's climb up real quick. Okay, so how did they manage? Okay, so we saw this picture that this person did a balcony, right, uh, with the benches. So, oh, he might have to go. Because if, if you put this, idea, okay, if you started like this, you're already higher than the door. So that doesn't work, right? Now. As a railing, that's going to be good, right? Like, you can put it right here. 
But I think the way they did it, it had to be that they came all the way down, right? And brought it up to a particular level, maybe? That's the only thing that I can think of. Okay, so this one is a little hard. So I don't, I've I seen people doing it. And I'm trying to figure it out right now. Uh, so you guys can see it. Okay. So I think the way they did it is they had to. Let me put it as close to the wall as I can, right? So, okay, let's put it right there. It won't be perfect, of course. The, all this won't be perfect. I'm going to do that green rack outside of my triangle home. I know. I love that's, that little green rack. And you can make it in different height with different with the two different plots, like one with the flowers, one with something else. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're just, we're just gonna keep increasing this, this height. All right, and I think, oh man, I don't think I can do one more. Let me see. Okay, so I moved, okay. So what I'm gonna have to do, okay, let me try. All right, so I'm going to have to build this one here. All right. Build that for me. Thank you so much. Okay. And let's go ahead and do the bench again. So now some of these little ideas are going to be a little... Why can I put it here? Man, it won't let me... Okay. Let me try this. It's not letting me put it on top like I want to. I was so close because I think I just need to go one more high, but it's not letting me. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. All right, so I'm going to have to put it a little farther away. Okay. This one, this trick is just going to take... if. This one, I don't think many people will do it because it's already complicated enough. But, okay. Why? Okay. Um, it's like you got to start it. Okay, there we go. Well, it didn't land perfectly, right? All right, so they build that. Okay. So, all right, so they did that. So ideally, ideally what you would like to do is delete this. Okay, so we delete all of that. Then you will delete all of this. Oh no, I deleted the wrong thing. Okay, well, okay, ideally you do that and then you put another one Then you make another wall, have another one, another wall, have another one. And then you kind of make a little flooring. Okay, so let me show you the picture. Uh, let, let me show you the picture. And maybe I didn't see it right. So, But let me find this picture real quick. Uh, let me find this. Where is it? Where... Think was this one, right? Okay, uh, okay. So here's the here's the picture. This is what I was trying to do. Oh no, wait. Okay, so let me bring it up right over here so you guys can see it. All right. So this is what we were trying to do. You see how they managed to do this little balcony right over here? And you see that the benches are right here underneath it. So they're underneath it. There's the door. And you come in through the door, and it's almost the benches are level to the door in the floor. And then you got more on the bottom. So that was that's another trick that I've seen a lot more people doing. Uh, doing. And as you can see, uh, th this person uh, is a fan. He's been... Uh, uh, duplicating, uh, getting inspiration, and, and, and basically duplicating my builds. It's pretty cool. I love it. I love when people get inspired like that, right? So as you can see, this is the same, uh, the, my same area. The other building over here. You see the hot spring over here. They're doing a really, a really great job, right? Getting that inspiration. Product. Let me show you the other angle. 
over here. So as you can see, you see how they're doing this little floating outdoor balconies area? So I'm thinking that they're just building up, right? And he did it the other way. Okay, so he did it the long way, and that might make it easier. I was doing it this way, and he's going this way. So, but th this is one of the people, there's other people that send me this kind of pictures, so they kind of really look cool. So, uh, so yeah, so, so really, really great idea. Is some people really like this. Chris Ken has some, Chris Ken has some great decorating ideas. Ooh, who's, I don't know that, I, I don't know if I seen that particular person or not. Oops, let me change this to the game again. Okay. Thank you. Here today, I'm not well. Robin, Robin, welcome in. S sorry if I miss anybody today as you guys are coming in because um, I'm a little distracted showing you guys things that I've learned over the past that it's not as easy to explain on Spielberg videos, even though that I'm doing, so I'm taking my time and explain it right here. Chris Gaga is a new sub. Kriska has some great idea. Kriska, hey Fiona, Kriska, and the iron. Oh wait, 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 Kriska, Kriska, wait a minute, Kriska, are you the one doing the castles, the castle builds, the 2.0 castles? And I have to check my. No, no, okay, no, very, very similar username, but no, okay. It's in chat, you're uh, Thanks, Fiona. Uh, Chris, 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 welcome in, welcome in. And the iron stool, when stacked, look a bit like a plumping pipes. The iron stool stacked. Really? Ooh, let me see that. Okay, so the iron stool. Okay, let, let, let me look at that real quick. Uh, welcome in, welcome. Uh, by, by the way, Chris, uh, Chris uh, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much. Uh, let me... I'm just here digging the plus. Let me let me read back up real quick. See if I miss anything. How about a little area? Okay, I did, I did read that. Hey Fiona, have you also tried stacking the iron wood side tables? Looks great as shelves. Same with baskets. I done the basket, the iron side tables. All right, let's let's look at that. Let's look at that real quick. Thanks. It's great to be here. Yeah, iron stool, also iron wood side table, and baskets are great. Building blocks. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Han. Chris, Chris Han? Chris Han? Hopefully I'm saying that right, Chris Han. Do you happen to have a YouTube channel? Man, I feel like I seen your name and maybe profile. It looks similar to another person. I just checked, so it wasn't that one. But... Just curious, just curious. I don't know if you do or not. Let me know if you do. Okay, so let's look at what she's saying. The iron. You have to hug it yourself when he's designing. He doesn't read. Sha. Riley. 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 Uh, Chris. Chris, do not listen to Riley. Okay. All right. Do not listen to Riley. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. All right. It's just, I guess, somebody that sounds very similar. Okay. Is, is, is this is a table that you mean? What is the truth? Is this a table? Okay. So, the, yeah, they do look like shelves. Oh, my gosh. This look. Oh, my gosh. This looks so great. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. I, we, we need to test this out. This actually could look great in here. Oh, no, but it's going to take a lot. I don't have enough room for it. Yeah, no, let me see. That's just not too bad. I, I mean, so if I did that, build that. And then grab that, do this again, do that again, build that, 
bring that up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wait a minute. And then can you do... Since this is has spacing... Okay, so you can't put it on the second one. Okay, so you can put stuff on the top. So you could put stuff on the top like this. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm stuck. Let me see, can I crash down? Okay, good, I can crash down, okay. Okay, all right. Oh man, if we didn't have this wall here, like, like you have a wider home, a wider hallway, this idea that Chris brought is amazing. Is amazing. You don't have the roof yet, right? So you can really stack them high, making all shelf. Also, it will let you, you can put up row of flowers and you could hide these boulders really nicely. Chris, this is such a good idea. And from the front, it will definitely look like shelves. I really like that. So that makes me think about these other ones that I've not tried. Like you got the iron, this. Of course, this you can make it look like I've seen some people using this as columns as well. I don't know if it's perfectly aligned on the top, but this is really great. I really like this, Chris. Chris, that's a really good idea. I really like that a lot. The power post distracted him from the chat. Riley Jersey might take away your purple hearts. <laughs> the side table are the ones I mean. Oh, the side tables. Oh, the Ironwood side table, this one. Well, this one, this one does really good. It looks good too. I really like because if you if you stack him, okay. So, all right. So let's put that there, right? So, okay. So she made the little ones that I think it will work too, right? But if you look at this one from far away, and if they look like iron beams coming down, and they look like shelving, so this looks really good, especially from a distance, like. It can look really well. And then I'm hoping if it works, right? You can put, you can distract yourself with putting a little bit of a flowers. You can put like flowers on the top like that. And that's a really good way to kind of hide. And then if you wanted to, you could do, if, if you were decorating inside, right? Inside at home. Uh, man, I need to make nails to do all this to keep testing all this. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I like this because we, we're kinda, kinda like discovering things that we can do in the game. All right, let me do a couple nails here. Uh, let's see. And start production. Bring that there. Do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. I especially like the large table for spacious base made for big piles because the bigger decorations complements better exactly. See, I like your thinking. I like your thinking, you know? Everything proportional. That's that's kind of what I like to do too, right? Proportional. Like this aesthetic of this base is really for small and medium piles. It's not for something that big. All right, so imagine imagine you're inside the home and you're doing this, guys. Uh, we, we, we're following some of the ideas and, you know, you want to do different different bookcases, so you can put something like this on the side. And then you have your, oops, oh, that's a little, that's a little far back. All right, let's do that, okay. Build that up real quick, okay. All right, so we're doing, we're just doing testing out here. Uh, but look at that, look at, and then imagine you got your normal wall behind it, right? Whatever stone wall or wood wall or metal wall, you know, but that alone, that accents so, so great. Now, if we go with the one that Chris said that I think is gonna, I seen it being done also not as bookshelves, but I seen it done as columns. Okay, so we right now, ah, I right now, okay. Let's go ahead and take all of that out. Okay. Uh, this one right here, right? 
Uh, let's let's do it on on the inside right here. Let's see they coming in. And then do it like this. And then, okay, let's put another one. Put another one. Uh, another one. Oh my gosh, Chris, this looks. Wait. Why? It won't let me put it. Oh, I don't have. Okay, I don't have sufficient. But look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like you can make your own custom bookcase. You can make it go down. You can make it go like this. You can make it high, low, high, low. Oh my gosh, you can make beautiful walls. Beautiful walls designed with the aesthetic. Chris, this is really great. I've been watching someone uh, someone in shape place walls and then put curved standings lamp behind it and it kind of hiding the base of the lamp. So from the front of the wall, looks like the lamp is hanging on. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I seen those. I seen those. Uh, uh, I, I think I know what you mean. Uh, is it this? Uh, I, I, I think this is what Failing is talking about. Let me. Okay, let me try this. I think Failing is saying this. Uh, let's go lighting. Oh no, I need, I need, what do I need? Oh no, I need just, okay. Let's just go to the other base real quick. I, I need to grab some, cause we're, we're doing a lot of testing. You guys are bringing good ideas. We're, we're showcasing ideas today. I, I'm not even working on what I'm supposed to be doing. See, you guys got me, got me to pump. Good to pump now. Thanks Fiona. Oh, look at that idea failing. Do the tables have wheels? What in the world? Yeah, those tables have wheels. Those long ones. I think they're like made for like industrial, probably industrial stuff. All right, so let's grab some of those real quick. Let's go over here. Um, okay. And let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. And let's put that and that away. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if you, uh, I think this is what Failing is saying. I seen people do this. I seen some people send me pictures. Okay, so you want to put this as close as you can. So you got to use the curving lamp, right? You use the curving lamp. You put it as close as you can to the wall. So let's put it right there. So they're going to build it. Oh, wait, it, it didn't go through. What happened? Why it didn't work? Oh, I placed it the wrong way. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, do, do it again. Redo. All right. Let me make sure that it's facing the correct way. Okay. There we go. All right. So again, we we'll put it right there. And then look at that. So if you're doing this, you can make something like this and you can put the lamps. And they look like that. Now, let me see something. I know I've seen people do this. Do they let you do? Okay, so it won't let you do a roof. So if you're doing this, does it let you do then another wall on top by any chance? No. Okay, so, so this has to be for something specifically that you want to do. Maybe you do have a wall that's hanging, and you can do this. Also, roof full of walls and mirrors and wall lamps are a vibe. Oh, oh, Chris, that's a good idea. See, I'm not such a great interior decorator. I'm good at building and outside and aesthetics. But inside, all these ideas are really nice. But, but you guys can make something like this. If you have a wall and that's all you have, maybe you're doing a wall of division or something, but you don't have no roof because for the looks of it, you can't really... You can't really add now the roof, right? Uh, Jasmine, Jasmine, welcome in. Okay, no, no, okay, okay, Jasmine, yeah, you've been here, okay. 
Would you make a guy for large pal compatibility? Uh, yes. Uh, in the future, I do want to make uh, different bases uh, because I do, you know, it gives you opportunity to make something real big. So I do want to do that when it comes to making a large base to use other pals. Uh, this this just happened to turn out to be for a smaller type of base for different type of pals. Uh, and pals that are, I'm kind of enjoying, I really like. So that's what kind of we ended up. And they don't turn up, but I do. We do. I do want to make something that's more bigger, right? For for different pals. But the good thing is, a lot of this stuff that that we're doing today, right? Uh, or a lot of the bills, basically, like let's say you like that little barn house idea, and you have a taller pal. They're making it twice as high or three times as high. That's basically what you're going to do. So a lot of the designs is just expanding either taller or wider. So if I was going to do this barn, then for a bigger pile, most likely instead of having the one opening, I will make it two opening, right? Two opening wide. So imagine two tiles wide for the big pile so they can really fit perfectly and you can have a, a flow of movement. And then instead of one, one just opening, I go another high opening, right? So you go too high. And then the rest of the barn can still fit the same. You can keep it the side the same if you wanted to or duplicate everything by two, right? So you can go, instead of having one window, you can go two windows, you know? Or you can go simple panel and then window or just the panel and then windows. And then you have a wider farm. And that way it still keeps the shape that it's not just a tall and skinny, but you can keep it wide and tall. So a lot of these ideas of the build, that's what I've been telling a lot of people. It's just if you have bigger piles, you can kind of just make it just go one more wider and one more taller. And usually that does work. If you got those real tall ones, those really tall piles, then you definitely need like maybe go three high and then you want to go. So you just want to expand. If, if you go one high, you want to go one more to the sides. If you go three, then then go three on the side. And if that way, every scene stay proportional unless you want a tall skinny building or something like that then you can go on that direction as well uh the great thing about how deep having different shapes and sizes in different building if that's and that's something that i'm going for at the moment is that it can make it feel more uh what what's the right word for that uh a little more real uh livable or realistic if that makes sense uh, okay, I still got a bunch of stuff. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, Mera, Mera, welcome in. Josh, welcome in. Uh, Josh, welcome in. How are you doing? Kaya, Kaya, welcome in. And Mera, Mera, how are you after last night? How are you after last night? Uh, on one-on-one, on one of my balconies, I did a garden with baskets iron wood, side tables, and benches about four layers back and high. Okay, okay, Chris, Chris, you're going to have to uh, either you can DM me pictures because I need to see this stuff that you're making so we can inspire other people. So you can DM me or if you want everybody to see it and if you don't mind, uh, you can also put it on the Discord and tag me on it, by the way, tag me because I really want to see your stuff because it sounds amazing. And because then I can take inspiration also, you know, uh, because the stuff that you described, they sound really amazing. And I think we all need to see it so we can all get inspired, you know. You know. Uh, yes, perfect. Uh, generally, it's three walls tall. Okay. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah, so, uh, so, so yeah, so for everybody that asks, like, like, imagine this garden here or these working areas. You know, uh, yeah, they're functional, you know. The most important, always keep, uh, for your pals to go through the different areas, right? You want to make sure you have a one, basically one square. A one, like, I can get away with this right here, right now, because they can still walk through here. But if I put it a little more, getting almost right to the middle of the walkway, the pals will not work anymore. So make sure that when you're putting something in the path, in the way that AI is supposed to work, no go, try to stay away from the middle as much as you can. Because if I put this chest even, even a little more closer to the middle, they will never go through here again. They will never work. It just, it will never work. So some people ask, you know, if, 
if if my pals could go walk from here, they can go over here. The smaller ones can, the medium the medium ones can. So uh, a lot of this layering is just a lot of trial and error. And I noticed that different pals react different. So the smaller pals do even better. Mediums they struggle a little bit. And then of course the large one will never make it in. So so different pals depending on the base and that you have, you may have to tweak things a little different than I did depending on the pals that you have. So that's going to be also something that is important. Uh, borrowing the system I'm playing on, so I'll just have to figure out how to get my screenshots, and I can do that. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. If you can, and, and, no, and no pressure. If you can do it, you can do it, and that's just fine. Okay? I don't, I don't want you to feel any pressure that that's something that you need to do. Okay. All right. All right. So let's, let, let, let me try to get back onto a little decoration. Now, okay, so I wanna show you this one too. Uh, I wanna give credit to, for this idea, we're gonna give credit to Shelly, Shelly Marie, one of the moderators of the channel. So this idea is really cool, and I wanna do it, and I'm gonna have to redo part of my building, because I really wanna do it on the backside, but what, what I'm gonna show you here is the, the steps that you need to do this, right? Okay, so so we're gonna put uh, the foundation, right? You got you, you need foundation to do this. Uh, the next thing you're gonna go to the storage. We wanna grab the container. Uh, what do I need? Oh man, I'm short. Okay, let me grab a couple more ingot. Uh, let me let me travel over here and let me grab some more of this. Uh, just grab a bunch of this, bunch of this, bunch of this. Let's grab that. Okay. And let's travel back. Let's travel back. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to build it. Okay. So imagine that you want to put the container, right? Uh, I can't tell. Oh, man. This is the downside. I can't tell where's the picture. Okay. Uh, let me pretend that... You gotta put the picture. You gotta make sure that you put a picture of the of the pile that's on in the side of the container in one of the squares completely. So let's see if it, if it, this is the sign. If not, we're just gonna have to redo it again. So let's go ahead and build it now. Uh, what one of the things that I do try to do, at least in this particular base, is try to hide all the stuff. Right, put them inside building because we want a nice, pleasing looking aesthetic base. So I've been doing that a lot. Okay, so this one has this picture over here on this side, and let's look at, and then we got this little, this other one here. So as you can see, uh, I put this wrong, so I need to make them fit a little better, but we're gonna give it a try anyway, uh, instead of just breaking it down. But the idea is that now you grab this window, right? Okay, and as you can see, it's not falling just right, so we're gonna, so let's just fix it real quick. And let's put the container again. Now I'm hoping that I'm doing this again. I've, I'm facing the right way again. All right. So let's aim it right there, right? Okay. So that's going to build. The idea is that you want to make the pal is looking out the window. Uh, of course, uh, the, f the only person that I ever see doing, done, done this... Oh man, now it's not facing the right way. I had it on the wrong window now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why you keep doing this to me? Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Okay. Let me try this one more time. Okay, one more time. All right. Let me try this one more time. All right. It's gonna fall in either one. Okay. <laughs> in either one. <laughs> This is going to work in one of them. <laughs> At some point, right? All right. All right. If I start like this, let's see where this lands, right? And like any singing power world, it's going to be all trial and error, right? Uh, let's see. Come on. Fall where you need to. Fall where you need to. Let's see. Is it going to work? Okay, so okay, so now I know. Okay, so now I know. Okay, so what we're gonna do is push this into this way. So now I know that I'm facing, so it's gonna be for this window. 
Now, if you want to put a specific window, now you know what you need to do. All right, so I think I can push it to there. Uh, let's use the mouse to put it this straight. Okay, let's put that there. Let's try it again. And the idea is that you're gonna have the pile looking out the window. So it's something from far away, you know, it's not a real pile, but I think it looks really, I mean, how did they make it work? Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one looks really good. So I think this is the pile that she was using. So when you're looking from far away, it looks like you got a little pile right there. I think this is really cool idea and a, a good way to hide the container. Now, uh, the last thing that you want to do, of course, if you're doing this, is you want to now uh, add the door, right? So you can add the door. Uh, let's add the door right there. So now, because you wanna have access to the container, so you wanna have, uh, come over here. Wait, open, there we go. And you can now have access to the container. If you leave the door open, the pals can come over here. They can store that. Uh, and then this one gives you a lot of room for storage, right? But it's a container. Sometimes it's not that pleasing, especially if you're trying to build something cozy. So you can hide inside here. Now, this is something that I want to put in, and I want to put it back here. Now, the downside is that when, when I found out that I, I can't put it now, because, and this is something that, that, this is why I show you, you need to do it this way first. If you know you're going to do this, because, well, I don't have enough, but I, it won't let me put it. I will have to take all the roof off first. That means that everything that I got built on the top is going to cave down. So I want to do it, but I don't want, I don't want to do it, but I do want that look. But once you have it, so you, what you got to do first is you got to know where you want to put it. And then you can put the roof on the top, right? The last thing that you're going to do is put the roof on the top because if you do it the other way, and I'll show you now. So right now, right? Everything's built. You got a facing. You got a little pile looking out the window. I think this is do this. You can add this to your industrial base. Yes. Yeah. I can add that to my industrial base. That's a good, Jasmine. That's a really good idea. But if I delete it, right? I delete the container. If I was gonna do it now, and let's say you, oh, I wanna do that and add it in this area. Well, of course it won't let you do it because you gotta take off the roof. As you can see, it's not gonna let you do it because it's trying to put it on the top because it needs that empty space. But if I take off the roof and I go back down, and as you can see now again, now we can go ahead and add it to here. But if you wanted the container, but you're like, man, it doesn't look good in my base. It's just, you know, I got all this coziness going on and none of this looks really good. Then what you can definitely do is, is just make sure that, that you know where you want to put it. And if you can take off the roof, then you can still add it, right? And you can add it just like that. And it just gives you something. It's just a little visual visual treat, right? Seeing that little pile just sitting there like if it's looking out the window. Now, and the one that's gonna work well is Lambo, as you can see, because Cativa, Cativa is a little short. It's not bad, but I will prefer Lambo because you can see more of it than Cativa over here. So, so this is just another good idea that I think you guys can use. And if you wanted the container because you wanted the storage room, right? But you didn't know where to put it. I think this is gonna work wonders uh, for you guys. Uh, right over here. All right, so let's go ahead and take all that, all that down. There we go. And let's go ahead and put all this away now. Uh, so we can clean up and then keep trying a couple things. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to go on this one. And let's go ahead and put that under. Okay. All right, uh, let me read. I will definitely be hiding the shipping container. I know, right, Rich Sherry Cola? Okay, let me read. What? There's a shipping container, says Floby. Uh, Mera, I have to watch back what I missed. Thanks, Fiona. Lots of decorating tips today. Yeah, today became more like I, I meant to do a lot of this, but you guys have been bringing a lot of tips too, so it's been really good. Obsizing will look terrible. I guess I have to adjust the smaller piles, but with lower level. Well, obsizing. Obsizing, if you do it right, 
of size it will not look bad, uh, Jasmine. Uh, it won't look bad. It's a lot of trial and error, right? Because if I was going to build a barn for a big one, it kind of be kind of the same shape because I really like this uh, kind of barn look. You know, it's all trial and error. Trust me, it's all trial and error. If, even for little piles and medium piles, everything is trial and error to us to make everything work correctly. Uh, Jerry said the piles does put the things inside even when it's closed. You got to keep the door open, uh, Kaya. Keep the door open and they will go in. Like, like one of the reasons that I keep all these doors open over here, like these doors, why all my builds, all the doors are always open? Because if you close the door, the pals cannot go through it. They don't open doors, right? So if you make a building and you're trying to make the pal come in, but you close the door, see, I gotta keep all the doors open. That way they can come all the way over here and use the hot spring. If I close the door, they don't open the door, at least not right now. Uh, hopefully they can fix that so we don't have to keep all the doors open. But yes, they will put stuff in the container. All you need to do is keep the door and make it accessible, right? They need to be able to get to the container so they can put stuff away on the container. Uh, but just keep that door open. And that's why I kind of explain it that way. Uh, uh, hi, Naomi. And and good luck and enjoy your meal. Right, I'm going to lurk more as I need to go and feed my gremlins and myself. Naomi, thank you so much for being here uh, today. Uh, right, I'm gonna lurk more. Where what if everything is closed? No windows, no door, just pure walls. Ah, man, I have not tested it that way. I mean, I guess we could test it out real quick uh, just to answer that question. As if you wanted the pals, I know definitely, I know for a fact that you need to uh, keep a door open for the pals so they can, uh, uh, what you say, uh, so they can definitely be able to push stuff themselves if you want the pals. Now, you can build this outside of the circle. If you take, if you turn off the detrator and fixture, that I just did because I do want to expand, you know, outside the circle. Now, don't forget that pals cannot work outside the circle, but but you but you can, right? All right, so so we're gonna test no door, and I don't think so. I I don't think I can reach. Maybe if you put it very close. Okay, so right now, as you can see, you can't really reach the container to activate it, even for yourself. So. Uh, let me see what happens if I put it a l the closest I can to the wall, just to make sure we're covering our bases, right? So let's put it as close as we can to that wall over there, to the point that it turns red. So let's back it up. Okay, so it's blue. All right, uh, let's go ahead and now, once they're done, we're gonna add the wall again. There we go, all right. All right, you guys can go. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. All right. So there we go. So we're going to put this as close, right? Okay. So if you put it as close as the wall, we can we can open the container. Now, I don't know if the pals will put anything away because there's a wall. I think the AI will say there's a wall there. But if you wanted to have one like this for some reason, you know, maybe it's going to fit something in your design, in your idea, and you just want it just aesthetic, like it's say, maybe you want to make this look like a foundation, right? And not have any windows and no doors. Uh, if you put it as close to the wall, make it go to red, back up to turns blue, we can access it. And you can push things away. So it's kind of like a secret hidden room with no doors, and you can go ahead. So. Thank you so much for making me test that. Now I can actually let people know that. So that's actually really, really cool that you can do that. So uh, as you can see, we are very close to the wall. You see the little gap. So uh, maybe we could have got a little closer, but at least you can see that it can be done. So if that's something that you really want to do and just hide the container this way, not even see it, but you want to put it somewhere in your, in your area, uh, then yeah, so it does work. I like to use doors uh, to deliver, enable, and disable different utilities by closing the door. In the mining base, I have the rock mine closed up, but I open it when they clear the ores. Ooh, that's a good idea. 
Faust can go through the doors when closed? Really, the, to me, it never works. It never works. If I close the door, they will never use the hot spring. If I close my workbench, they, they never go into the, huh, that's interesting. Unless they fix something, and I haven't tested it out in a while, but in the early days, it w they would never do anything. They would not do anything that I, that I wanted them to do at an angle so that it's just usable from all sides. That's another good idea, Chris. Yeah. Oh, no. I broke it. I. Oh, man. Ah, I forgot that I was in build mode. I mean, on, on the... How many, how many of you do that by accident? You forget that you're still in takedown mode. How many, how many of you still do that? Uh, let me see if I can put the same thing that I had. I think I had a barrel here. Oh man. This is gonna be. Let me see. And okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. I don't know if I had a barrel here or what. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a lot of this stuff away again. All right. Uh, actually, since I'm gonna have to do this, let me go ahead and do the the bigger one now. Kind of, kind of want to do this one instead. But we're gonna have to put it a little more on the floor here. There we go. Put that there. Uh, always just destroying everything. It was an accident. It was... It was a little accident. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. It's the same spacing. Okay. Same type of space. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all this heavy stuff away for now. Uh, okay. Come here. Just seems like you're stuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo that later. Because now it doesn't. There. Okay. Alright. Alright, we did that. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean that up and all that. Okay. Uh, I'm always destroying everything. I. Oh, man. It's bad when you destroy something very important and then it takes you a bunch of steps to try to uh, fix it all. Now, that is. It's a little frustrating, right? All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me see. Any any other tips that you guys have in decorating? Uh, I'm always throwing everything. Me too, Flo B. You too? Oh, Taki Shan too? I know. Is I always forget. I always forget. Okay. Uh, an another great item that I'm really liking a lot. And it's really good to, off uh, to accent. Uh, the little things is the little trash bags. How many of you have you have used the trash bags? I think they look excellent. They they done a really great job. Like you can put them in different areas, and they clip in quite a bit into corners, as you can see right here. Like they they actually clip in so well. So like let's say you wanted to do that there, right there, and I sh and it, and it gives you something. I really like. I really like how the trash bags really look in the game. And I wish we get more stuff like that because I think they look really nice. I think that just really helps the uh, sell the illusion of different areas. And you can make a little pile area of trash, you know. Uh, you can use a lot of this. I haven't used a lot of this yet, the blue and the green containers. But you can make a little like pile of trash area if you wanted to. Now, this is a good way to use colors. I've not found a great way to use it just yet. Like, why would I like to use this for? Because it kind of doesn't fit a lot of the aesthetic that we're going to in this base. But, and the tire as well. I don't find a good reason to use it because it's just a tire. And I don't know why we have a tire if we don't have anything that uses a tire, right? We don't have cars, we don't have vehicles. There's nothing that has a tire. The earth pipe also I don't know what's the point. Maybe, maybe to do a little border, uh, a design thing. 
I really don't know what I will use this just yet. If any of you know what to do with any of these items, like what you used it for, let me know. Let me know because I kind of would like to know. Now, I, I do love this right here, the cola vending machine. Like, I've been thinking to add like a little, maybe add another section here. Like, imagine if I went like this. Now, it kind of blocks the pass, so I kind of, I don't know. I've been thinking this a lot. Don't know where exactly, but I kind of want to use the vending machines. So, oh, a, a place that I was thinking that you could put, like, one of the vending machines just for for looks, right? Uh, maybe we want to put one out here, like, uh, where was it? On the last one, right? Maybe you put it right here. Maybe maybe this kind of like a little break room area right here. And maybe you want to see it from the outside. Because, you know, a lot of the vending machines, you know, if you go to Walmart or stuff like that area, they do got like the vending machines on the outside. So you don't have to put it inside the area. So let's say you put it there. And look at that. I think it looks pretty cool, right? It looks pretty cool. And I think it's going to look really good at night. And you can make like a little uh, break room area, right? Uh, Max, Max, Matt, Max, welcome in. Hello, hello, welcome in. How are you? Uh, but it's kind of random, seems simple enough, but it, it could probably look good in a playground build or something weird. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah, this section here to me is the most random. Like we got a soccer goal, a soccer goal, but. I, I don't I don't know what I will use it for. Like I mean the crane machine I can see it, you can put it, you know, you can make a break room area, just like the cola machine, you can use it for other stuff. The soccer goal, I don't, don't even know what I will use that for. TS Playtime, hi, welcome in. Welcome in everybody. We we, we kinda started doing a lot of tips. Uh, things that we have learned throughout and things that you guys have voiced it out. I want to build it because I have not built this ever. But we have a soccer net. Why do we have a soccer net? We need this in Dinkum, by the way. Dinkum should have this <laughs> by now <laughs> with so many soccer fields that people have done. I don't know. What will you use this for? Like, like does anybody have an idea besides? I don't know. I, I, I truly don't know. And it's pretty big, too. So it takes a lot of space, right? Okay, I'm back from my appointment. Shelly, welcome back. The hidden container is such a good idea. Yeah, the hidden container, uh, that was inspired by our moderator, Shelly Marie. Uh, she showed me that. So uh, it was such a good idea. I love the way it looks. And having a little extra pal looking out the window just for perspective. It's just, it's just really nice. I never understood the soccer net. Yeah, I'm in the same way. Uh, the soccer net, and like I mentioned, I guess I guess if you're making an industrial base, maybe I'm gonna use a lot of these barrels when I make my other industrial base. More that way, I can put more of the heavy machinery, and maybe we, this makes it look more industrial. And maybe we do something with the pipes, like a border, something like that. I love the trash bags, the cable reel. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I mean, this this can work for a cozy environment, right? Like this fix the aesthetics here. You can definitely, I mean, you can put, let me see something. Maybe you put a tire there and I don't know if it will let you inside the tire. Can you even put, oh, it won't let you put it inside the tire but it lets you There you go, modern art, right there. Little modern art, look at that. Look at that. Uh, I mean, the cable reel can look good as a little table out here, you know? Uh, maybe, and then you can do like a tools like this. So you could do, I keep pressing the wrong key, but you could do like a little, like a, I don't know, like a little, sitting area and have all this kind of like that you know that could work and then you can take off 
uh, a lot of this. Um, and I actually put something. I mean, you can actually put the flower now, right? Like you can actually do this like a centerpiece here. Uh, of course, we don't have separate place. It, it'd be good so we can have a little more control, but we don't have that. Uh, there's nothing really else that you can do as add-ons, right? Now, there's there's not enough for add-ons. Uh, I guess you could put the feeding box. Oh, this could be a cool high table and a feeding box for bigger pals. So, you know, so it kind of makes more sense. Uh, maybe you stack two of those and make it really high. But as an uh, actually, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I like that a lot. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, my gosh. I actually like what we just did there. <laughs> I like this. I like that. Oh, my gosh. I actually like that a lot. And it makes sense for outdoor. You know what? We're, we're, we're actually going to use that. We're going to put that here. We're going to build that here, and we're going to do all the seating. Because I actually ended up liking it. And that's how you do happy mistakes. Happy little accidents, right? Uh, the net is good, much decorated either, unless you clip into something. Ooh, clipping into something. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe we can do clip it into something. Maybe on the side of the wall? Maybe something? Yeah. Actually, that's, that's a very interesting idea, right? All right, uh, let's see. And maybe we put one more here, right? All right, let's put that like that. All right, and I need it. Let's go ahead and build all of this. Okay. And put that there. Even though he's next to it, he just doesn't want to build it. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's put that there. Let's put this centerpiece now. A little bit like this. And there we go. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll keep it. I'll keep it for now. Just call me Stitch. It's fine. So here, I'm praying for you. Uh, I'm currently in the hospital because I've been dealing with cancer. I figured I'll tell you before I go to sleep. This is Stitch. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Please, 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 please. Have a good rest. Uh, take it easy, okay? Take it easy. Keep up posted. Hopefully, we can bring you a little bit of smile, a little bit of happiness as you're watching. As you're watching this today. So sorry to hear. Hopefully, hopefully you get good news or everything goes well today while you're over there. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy all this. Everybody, let's go ahead and put some, uh, you know, let's show a little bit of love and a little bit uh, to Stitch, to TS Playtime. Let's go ahead and put some hearts in the chat. You know, uh, right now he's at the hospital. He's fighting a little bit of, uh, he's fighting, it looks like he had fighting some uh, type of cancer. So let's go ahead and put uh, some hearts to know that we're, we're thinking of him, uh, that we are, you know, there in spirit. Uh, and please, uh, Stitch, TS, Playtime, please get some rest. Get some rest. Uh, just take it easy, you know. Thank you so much for watching part of the stream. Hopefully we brought you a little bit of smile, but please, please get, get, get some rest. Exactly. Take it easy. And you're welcome. Okay. All right. So we added a little bit. Cool lady. Cool lady. Cool lady. I just see cool lady now. And Tina. Okay. How many people did I miss and I didn't say hi to? Tina, welcome in. Uh, Brandy. Brandy, did I say hi to you? I can't remember. Brandy, if I didn't say hi to you, hi. Uh, uh, welcome in. Tina, welcome in. Cool lady, welcome in. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. So glad to see all of you here today. Okay, so something here. I think we're going to need a little bit of light over here eventually, right? 
Uh, let me look at the lines. Let's go ahead and put one of these ones over here. Let's see. Let's put that there. All right, so at night, that should light up really nicely. And... I need to go on a another organ uh, run for electricity. Uh, I've been adding a couple of lamps in different sections, so we're adding that little corner because it was a little. It's, that corner is always going to be dark, just the way the building and the lighting and all of that. So we went ahead and added a little light over there as well. I like how that little corner we're able to use another item today, right? So, so that's that's actually kind of nice. I, I kind of like how that co little corner is turning out right over there. Okay, all right. So let me go ahead and do a couple more things over here. I do still want to... Okay, this one, it won't be as easy because I don't think it's going to let me do the foundation or roofing. Oh, wait, it does. Haha. <laughs> okay. I wanted to do the... I went too far. I went too far. There it is. Let's go ahead and grab the bench and be over here. Let's add a little bit of this. And push it back, push it to the side. And forward, okay. All right, and sideways. Man, it always feels stressful when you, when you try to align things. It's always a breath of fresh air when you're done. You're like, I'm done. I'm done with it. All right, so let's do, let's put one in the corner and let's put this one a little sideways like that, just to give it a little aesthetic. And I think I just may keep it with one or do I want another one? Maybe I got these vines hanging this way like this. All right, let's put it like that. And once they're done with that, we can take this out. And there we go. And I, 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 I'm really, this is one of my favorite things to do right now. Is not in every window, you know, I'm not going to add one over here. But it's nice to have a little bit extra on the outside of the window. I really like how this looks. This is one of my favorite things to do right now. You said that I was holding my breath, aligning something. Yeah, like I tend to hold my breath. Like, I feel stress, you know, aligning all that concentration a little to the front, a little to the back, oh, a little to the front. Because you want to get it as close as you can, right? You don't want to have that little gap. Uh, Robbling, okay, I'm back. I also wanted to say have a wonderful day. Going to go celebrate my last baby BN3. Oh, try using the soccer fan as an angle glass. Wait, 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 wait. Amanda? No, Annabella. Annabella. Annabella Rice. Try using the soccer fan as an angle glass wall. What do you mean by a glass wall? I say that about everything I build. Really? I've said that before. I hold my breath. Really, Shelly? I mean, I mean, it could be true that I say that. As a glass wall. Like, I don't, I don't know what you, uh, Annabella, I don't know what you mean by that. I, I, I truly don't know. Like, oh, I said to my favorite things to build. Okay, okay. Something you look back and think, when did you grow so much? Hard when the kids are moving out from home. Oh my, Kaya, Kaya, I'm already suffering that my baby girl is going to be eight months old and she's looking so much older. She's already acting independent. I'm like, she's only, she's going to be eight months tomorrow. Oh my goodness. We're in Robin Ling. Happy birthday to your... Happy third birthday to your baby, Robin. Oh, three years old. Oh, my goodness. Three years old. Like an angle window. 
I, I, I'm still trying to wrap around that idea, Annabelle. I don't know how can I make that. So put a wall and then put the soccer net. But I don't. My eldest. I'm, I'm really trying to figure out that, uh, Annabelle. I'm trying to figure out that one. But I can. It's not computing on, on my on, on my brain right now. It's not it's not computing. Okay. All right. So okay. So we got that corner looking good. Okay. So one of the things that we really I really wanted to do on this stream, but we got sidetracked a lot, is keep working on this area right here. Right. Uh, I really wanted to hide a little bit more of this right here. Right. That was part of the idea here. Now, I think I made one. I think I like more the idea of maybe this a little more in the corner like this. I think I'm gonna like this a little bit better. I think it will make this corner feel a little more, more cozy. I do like the idea and I wanna try it now. Uh, this idea of using this item here. Let's see how close we can get. All right, and then, okay. So let's bring Anibas building this. Man, I wish they just continuously build. I, I don't like bringing them in, but okay. Complaining too much, right? Oh wait, and then go sideways. Okay, because I like this. It's gonna take a lot of resources, but I do love this idea. Let's see if we can do this just right. And I will say it again. Anything you do in Power World, be patient with yourself, right? Have a lot of patience. Because look at how much we got to do back and forth, right? I can't wait till they really start. We get an update like improve improve crafting, improve whatever, right? Like all of that. I can't, I can't wait for that. That's going to be so nice when they actually give us that news, right? Yeah, I won't be able to go three because of the roofing. Uh, but if we can do something in this... I like this idea. And we want to say thank you uh, because it's like you can build any type of sequence furniture with this. I really like this idea a lot. I'm so glad that she uh, introduced me uh, to this because it's nice. It's going to be really nice, right? So let's go ahead and put a flower right here, uh, this flower base right here. Uh, and let's say you want to do another pot. Now this pot, what we're going to do is really make it just feel like it's just white. So we're going to put all the vines hanging on the back. All right. It's not as center as I wanted to, but there's only so much jumping that I can do to place it. But there we go. I like that. Yeah, and this corner, this corner feels great. That corner feels great. Okay, so now let's bring in... Uh, a little carpet, right? Ah, we need cloth. Okay, we need cloth. Okay, let's go make let's let's go make some cloths real quick. Hey, is Palantha the trolls popping in to pay my jerseys? I hope everyone is having a great day, Samantha. Samantha, how are you? Jersey, his name is Harley, and for I, he has the birthday song. If you don't. You should sing it. Okay, okay, all right, all right. There we go, there we go. You can't get past the massive rocks. I just can't. Ah, uh, well, Shelly, uh, we did already talked about that earlier. I mean, I don't mind it. I actually, I don't think it just makes it look rustic, right? Uh, especially if you combine it with the stone wall. But what you can do uh, in here, right? If uh, And we showcased it earlier. And we're about to sing... Uh, the birds are Robin, so uh, give me a moment. Let me. So 
th this is something that we talked about earlier. This is a good way to hide it. Now, I could do it, but I have to do it. And I already got stuff built in, so I don't want to do it. It doesn't bother me that much that I want to hide it. But you can either, if, if it's showing in your home, right? You can do this bench wall right here, right? You go about... You go about four high like this, right? And then what you can you can do is, uh, you can either go all the way high with the benches and hide it. You can also do a crate wall and hide them, you know? And also you can do like a little rack like this. And what you can do is add plants on the top. And you know, you can just hide it as best as you can. You do something like this, you know? And then it'll start hiding part of that rock, right? The idea is to hide and make something in the front. Now, if if you have more space, right? Because this this design makes it feel like a hallway, right? Uh, if you have more space, let's say you didn't have the that building there, and you don't have those walls here, and maybe your your next wall starts over here, then you can definitely close this whole square off, right? You can close it off completely. You can also do bunch of books uh, bookshelves as well like we we already kind of try that uh you can build a wall of bookcase if you don't have the roof at first right you can also do uh you can do like either the tall one the antique like this or you can do this and as you can see it's a, a little taller than the bench and you can do something like this you know and kind of hide it you know it's just a way to hide it. And sometimes, you know, if you if you care a lot for the inside, if you're one of those person that does care for the very picky aesthetic on the inside, then I understand. I'm not picky on the inside. That's why most of my stuff, and when you guys see me, I don't do much decorated on the inside. I, I do the bare minimum that I need to, you know? Uh, I'm more of an outside builder. But so all, all, that, all that we're trying to do here is Kind of take away, you know? So so when you start coming this way already, you know, my eyesight goes more to down here than up here. I'm not being so much distracted anymore. But, you know, it's just a good way to hide it. And you can, the hallway will feel a little bit skinnier if you hide that, you know? And I like this idea here. So I want to go with this idea and do maybe another chair over here and then do another section of this. And all that. If I didn't have the roof, if I didn't have this stuff on top of here, right? If I didn't have all of this already done, then you can take off the roof and do something even more nicely. So anytime anybody, my recommendation is anytime that's going to work on this and make these rails up here on the top, that I really love this look. That was not everything benches. It just aesthetically is different. It makes it look different. And I like that then I would recommend that before you finish and closing it out, figure out what you want to do in front of the wall. Is it going to be hidden or do you need to cover it up? And then that will help you know, do you like the, sh the smaller hallway or do you need to make it wider? You know, so, uh, so that, that should help in the future for anybody that's trying to do that. Okay, all right. So now, now be before we continue, before we continue, uh, let's go ahead and sing a little birthday song. Uh, and let me look for the name again, Harley, Harley. So we're going to sing to Harley. He's turning three today. Uh, we want Harley to feel uh, very special on his day, on his day, right? So let's go ahead, Familia. Familia, join us today on singing Happy Birthday to Harley. Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday. Day to you. Happy birthday, Harley. Happy birthday, Harley. Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday to you. Harley, Harley, happy birthday. Hey, tell tell your mom that you wanna eat all the cake, all the ice cream. Tell her that it's your day, that you can do whatever you want. You know, especially, you know, eating all that cake, all that sugar, you know, all the potato chips. I don't know what's going on in your party, but, you know, you know tell your mom. 
Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday to you. Harley, Harley, happy birthday. Three years old. You're growing up in front of your mom. And mom, you're doing an amazing job. Amazing job. Thank you so much for being part of the familia. Thank you so much for letting us, the familia, and everybody that's here, sing happy birthday to Harley. Thank you for giving us that pleasure and that honor so we can make your day and his day so much happier. And look at everybody putting all the birthday cakes, all the parties, all the hearts, all the love, because we love you. We love you, Robin, and we also love your son, Harley. So we're so happy. We're truly so happy to have this opportunity to wish him a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harley. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Harley. Happy birthday. And thank you, everybody, for participating and making someone's day. And especially, you know, a kid, their day even special. Because if you remember you're a kid, who doesn't love birthday? Who doesn't love when people were singing and making their day super special? So we're so happy. And I hope that he enjoys the little sing-along when he watches it because we're happy. And we love Robin. I mean, Robin's always here. She, amazing person, amazing person of the community, of the familia. And thank you so much, Robin, for giving us the ability and the honor to sing to Harley today. And like always, if you have a birthday, you know, and you want me to sing to you, you know, and make sure that's your real birthday, you know, just don't make me sing to sing, you know, but if it's your birthday or anybody that you want to showcase, you know, we do sing. We have sing to other people that aren't even here just because members of the channel or subscribers or anybody wants to show them, you know, because, you know, it makes their day happy, right? It makes their day happy. Okay. All right. So, all right. A sharp band. Uh. Charban, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here and joining us today. Um, I know I know the title says Working on the Bass, but we literally have done more of a... We're talking about all the tips and tricks that we have learned in Power. Now, okay, uh, so I do want to show one more thing uh, when it comes to tricks, because this is uh, something that I get asked a lot, especially how I did my my staircasing like this, you know, like it's coming down and it's here and like that. And people, they're like, how were you able to do even these two combinations like this right over here? You know, so so what, let me show you how kind of I did that real quick because I do get that quite a bit and it's kind of hard to explain over over chat, over text message. So now I can, I'm can. i going to refer people to this portion of the video when they ask me about that. When when people watch that video, they always ask me, like, around 12 minutes, how do you put those two little combinations and how it just looks like that and there's no flooring? Uh, it's very easy to do. Let me see if I can get it just right. Uh, it's all about, I mean, that's a particular height that I was able to get over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that I'm going to raise this right over here. So let's move this over here. And let me see if I can raise this just tall right over here. Let's bring it. Let's bring it to almost max high there. I don't know. Let's just put it right there. Let me see if I if I can make this work, right? Uh, and let's go ahead and bring this stairs on this side. So this one almost made it to the end. Uh, let me see now. No, wait. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, so that is clipping in there. I think I might be getting too, too close to the power. Okay, so as you can see right here, 
there's something that's not letting me actually clip it in. It could be that I'm getting close to the pal box. So if you don't know anything about the stair, the stair continues. So if the if the stairs reaches like over here and the pop box on the way, so it won't let you do it. But this is a way that I was able to do it, right? You gotta have a little bit of a height left, right? And then it will let you put another stairs. And then you can do uh, two different tones, right? Uh, two different tones of stairs. Now, if you had a flooring over here, right underneath it, right? That is, of course, it's not gonna let me clip. I oh, mean, this is really hard to explain. If, even like this, it's really hard to explain. But anyway, okay, so the best thing that I can tell you is, like, you can continue to do this, and I don't have enough room in either direction here to make it happen. But as you can see, you see how they're kind of curving right over here? So normally, it should let you put, like, a, another platform, either sometimes right here. And if you can put a platform, you can try, like, a wooden roof like that. And sometimes it will let you put the, the, the roof, the flooring, and then you can do the extension. Uh, if you're walking the other way around, uh, sometimes you're building the stairs the opposite way. Then, uh, and if you have a foundation down here, so let me see if I can. I'm trying to replicate how I did that over there, but it's not giving me all the space that I need. Okay, uh, so let's say you have a wall, right? Okay, let's put a wall right there, right? And then you got the, let's go ahead and put this roof here, right? Let's go ahead and put another wall right here, right? Okay, all right, okay, I, th I think this may work right here. It won't show you everything, but it should work, right? Okay, so let's say you got this and you got, not that, you got the steps like this, right? So that archway that I did over there, this is kind of how I approached it. I don't think uh, like that, right? And okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, and let's say I want now the little stone section, right? Just to make it look a little different, right? So I got a stone and then at least two wood, right? And a lot of people were asking how I managed to do this without having all of this. But basically, you gotta build the structure first, right? And after you build the structure, then what I did is deleted the walls. So now I got the empty walls. And what I did is I deleted the foundation underneath. Uh, well, I deleted everything. I forgot that I needed to have the other steps on the other side and then it doesn't break. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me do that again real quick. So you guys can see it. Well, I couldn't do it because it was on the way. But basically, 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 again, uh, that little archway that I managed to do there, and like I mentioned earlier, it's just a lot of trial and error, but as you can see, we're gonna add now the, this again. All right, we're gonna add the steps. You got the steps. Uh, you have the, this here, okay. Uh, you can add steps again on this other side like this. And of course, if I didn't have this in the way or a lot of this, it will let me do it here. Now, the reason it broke for me, and that happened to me when I first did it on that other one, I know that for some reason, when you take one of the last pieces off, since this is gonna take like floating in the air, it breaks everything. So it needed to have this little gap over here too, right, like this, right? Or maybe another flooring piece that this there is attached. So when you delete stuff, everything can stay floating, like over here, like you can see. See? So I got this flooring attaching to here. So even though I took off all the platforms from underneath and all the walls, everything can stay floating. And that's how I managed to do that effect. I know some people have been trying to duplicate it, and for some reason, for some reason, uh, I guess I didn't explain it well enough on the video. Uh, but basically, after you get to this point, you can delete this, delete this, and again, and delete the foundation kind of like that. And for some reason, this one went away too. Why did it go away? Man, why is it doing it? It's not doing it now. 
I promised that I had this right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think this one... Oh, I think this one is made with, sorry. I think I did this one with the roofing. Wait, was it the roofing? No, no, it was with the stone. Anyway. I don't know. Power, power world sometimes is a little frustrating because... All right, it's supposed to go like that. Then... It's supposed to go like this. Right? That's how I had it over there. And then... I managed to break... It keeps breaking everything this time. Alright, I know I managed to do it. I managed to do it last time. And I'm... See? Maybe it needs to be a little bit higher. Maybe it needs to be a hair. Okay, either way, either way. Uh, you can kind of do... Do it that way, you know, do it and then you can actually take the rest of the archway uh, out of the way. Uh, make sure make sure that this part is connected because if I take this off, it's going to break everything else. So make sure you have either a foundation or everything is still touching the ground uh, before you take it out. And then you can have the archway and then you can put it right underneath it. Uh, and I know I managed to do it. So I know if I keep working at it, I can make it happen. I just don't know why it's not working right now. Uh, it just keeps breaking the other end. But anyway, that's how I kind of managed to do that little archway right there. It's because the stair isn't connected to a building. Oh, it's, oh, that's what it is. Oh, I think that, Mal, Mal, thank you so much. It's because I'm connecting this to here, right? Here to here, and you got Mal. Mal, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for that insight. Truly, thank you so much. Do you mean uh, unusable forcing the pals to sleep anywhere in the base? Oh, I never heard of that. I never heard of that trick. Uh, to make it unusable, to make it sleep anywhere on the base. The only way that I know that you can make that happen. Uh, I got two beds here that they will never use because I put the beds here. They'll register, but they will, nobody will ever sleep here. So I got two pals sleeping anywhere because of the way they're roofing. For some reason, they can't get in here, but it still registers. So when they go to sleep, they don't get affected, but they nobody gets here. So you could do a place like this, put the beds where you got the roofing sideways diagonal when they can't get in and you can make it that way i got these two beds that no pals ever lays on it so there's always two pals sleeping somewhere in the base so if that's what you're looking for then you can force it right you can force the pals not to sleep on those beds by making it really tight as long as you can place the bed but then the pals can't get there uh per se to get in, in that particular uh, section so you can hire a lot of the beds in a roof of the home and then make the pals sleep everywhere. And if that works, let me know because that's a really cool idea. And then you can have pals sleeping anywhere. So that's actually very cool. Ooh, stacking the beds. Uh, we can try that real quick since we're right here. I don't know if we can stack beds, but okay. So let's build this. Uh, no, it's overlapping. So the beds, you cannot, at least not this one, you cannot overstack the beds. Sorry, Shelly, you can't do that one. But I think the other trick could work. Because I know for a fact, when my pals go to sleep, those two beds, nobody, no one ever uses them. So I was planning that I needed to move them. But if you hide all the beds in the roof of the homes, right? Let, 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 let's say you go... Uh, in every single area like this, on top of the bases here, you put all the beds to hide them. They may sleep everywhere, right? And I don't think they get any any punishment, right? Uh, maybe with a bench. But, but if you still want to stack another one on the top, you can't put a bench on top of the bed. So it's going to... I don't... Oh, I see what you mean, Mal. 
Ah, wait. Okay. All right. Let me see something. We can we can test that out real quick. Okay. All right. So let's build this here. I'm just gonna do it with two benches. But well, no, I will have to do it with three, right? I have to do it with three real quick. Now it's gonna have a lot of space in between. All right. Let me try this. That mall is saying right. This has been a pretty cool stream, cause we've been kind of like. All right, so we stack there. They're gonna come build, right? Uh, okay, so they're gonna build. We're gonna delete the bench. Uh, the hay. Oh, uh, oh man, I guess it registers different. Maybe it registers all the way down too. Uh, let me del delete the next bench down. Okay, so here it worked on this one. This is actually... You know, you know this? This little bench? You know what? This is... Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think of something here. This gave me an idea, but it's going to be for ever to try to see if actually works. Uh, I may have to do that on my own time. But okay, so we could make a fit in between them. So I don't know if it just registers more down, uh, but it does work, but you have this big gap. So I don't think it will be the most beautiful thing in the world uh, to do. But that was a very interesting idea, uh, Amal. Very interesting. I have to keep building and revealing my own head theory of how to build mechanics in this game work. Every time I think I figure something out, something goes awry. I know, I know. But that's what makes a power a little bit interesting, right? Like, it makes it fun. It makes it fun, right? Like, I really wanted to make this happen right here, right? Like, make this happen. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't have flying pals. And the reason was I can't have, originally, I did have uh, up here, uh, I had uh, one more, I had the roof coming higher, like this here, like, um, let me show you. I had this, a, a little roof coming on this direction, like this. I had, a, at first I was able to put a wall, uh, or divisions here, like I had like divisions here in the top, like I was keeping, but it wasn't letting the flying piles work. I don't know if the flying piles need more than one tile or width or something, but by leaving it open, leaving the archway open instead of division, because at first I had this as a wall all the way up, like this, instead of being the triangle, it used to be a wall going up. But when I had the wall going up, Fl uh, flying pals would not work. They just would not work at all. But if I did the roofing this way and keep the other half open, then it worked. And then flying pals started working. So it's just like, uh, just like Chris said, different mechanics, different things, a lot of trust and error. Yeah, you can, I, I, I think the, the one of the best tests to do when it comes to the beds will be hiding them in the roof. If you have a lot of roofing space, like like when you look at this roof over here on this one, right? And you really didn't want the pals to, you, you really wanted the pals to be by themselves, right? Uh, free and, and sleep anywhere they want, just laying down. Uh, you could hide beds in here, right? Inside the roofing like this. You can hide them in here and if, I don't think they get affected just because they're not sleeping on it. They're still registering that there's a bed somewhere. So I think they're still registering. And if that works, and then a lot of these buildings like that we do here, right? You guys can do a lot of the hiding. And then you can use more space for other stuff. Uh, oops, come on. Come on, let me put it. Seriously? Uh, why are you registering? 
No, this happened when I was building. I... <laughs> it's clipping down there. No, I want it up here. Come on. Why are you not letting me... Wow, really? Okay. I'll try it again. Let me reset it. Okay, it's not letting me put the the piece for some reason. Why are you not letting me put the piece? Look at that. I'm putting it right here and it's clipping. If you see between my legs, it's saying that I'm going to put it right there. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let me put it right there and see if it'll help me. No, it's still... Oh, man. Okay, what happened? Why is not letting me? Power. We love you, but why are you treating me like this? Okay. All right, let me put it the other side first. Maybe it'll register this side first. Or, oh no, now it's not registering any side. What's going on? Oh no, I can't. Oh, wait, 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 I think I know why. I mean, you guys probably write it in the chat, right? Are you guys writing it probably? Uh, let me do. Okay, I probably need this, right? I need the wall. For some reason, I didn't have a wall, but okay. And now, there we go. Okay, I don't know why I didn't have walls before, but I guess during my previous building, I don't know what did I do. Maybe I took out the wall afterwards, but there we go. Okay, all right, I just needed the wall, place a wall. Thank you so much, Maul. I, I should have looked at chat earlier. I was getting a little confused there. I figured it out, but I should have looked at it. Yeah, need a wall. Okay, that's what happened. Okay. Uh, but try that. Uh, if you guys, I guess, if you guys try it, if any of you try it and you guys hide the beds on top of the roof of buildings, and let me know how do pals react. Do the insanity drops lower because they're actually not sleeping on the bed? And... Does it look cool when they're sleeping anywhere in the floor? Like, like, are they just sleeping anywhere? Random places? Does it look off? Does it look good? I'd be in... Oh, poor guy. He's trying to cool the stuff from way up there. That's new. He's never done that. Come here. Okay, so let's put him there. Okay. Okay. All right, I, th I think that's pretty good, yes. I have that that in my main game. They don't get affected. Okay, guys, so we have a confirmation from Maul. So if anybody was wondering that it looks like Maul has tried it out, uh, then that's a really cool idea. So like, like I had the barn right over here, right? And I got all these beds. But now, if I mean, I do like seeing the pal sleeping in the barn, so I'm okay because that was the whole point of this build. But if you really want to do something more and you just want to see pal sleeping anywhere in your base, I guess they just once it's time they just drop to sleep. That's what I'm guessing that will happen. Uh, then it will give you more space, it will give you more space, right? You'll be stacking beds in your empty room. Pass don't benefit from the straw beds anyway. You just have to have the beds somewhere in the base. Doesn't matter where. All right, Ranch confirms it too. All right, so thank you, Maul, uh, Ma, and thank you, Ranch, for confirming that for us. Okay, uh, I think, I wow. So so we, we, we really just talked a lot about, I may actually, 
uh, change the title of this stream because <laughs> we barely did any base work. We barely did any base work. We, we, we got so engaged on all these tricks that you guys were sharing and things that I've learned, things that people have shared with me uh, and through all the pictures that it was pretty cool. I, I, I really enjoyed the stream. Uh, some pal sleep next to the door. Really? Oh, that's cool. I can even start stacking the big best. So they actually stack on top of each other. So it was just this. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so all right, let me look at something. So, so if I grab the little ones, okay, we need cloth. Okay. Uh, just normal cloth, right? All right, let's go ahead and make a little bit of that. Oop, wrong one. This is what I. There we go. All right, I, I'm just curious. I want to see how this. Man, he's building so quick. Look at that. All right, thank you so much. All right. All right, so this stacks. Is that is that what you're telling me? This one, they do stack? I need to do the best stack in the corner of my bar all the way to the ceiling. Okay, so the... Because we tried the hay one, and they weren't stacking unless you were doing the separation. So this one do stack. That's what you're saying. Okay. Oh, man. Now I need another nail. Okay. Always something. All right, and... No, wrong one. Wrong one. All right, there we go. All right, so we're making a couple nails. Let me acquire that. Okay. Okay, so how you how you're stacking it? Is it with the benches? Is that what you're doing? The bench separation, stacking it, bench, stacking it, bench. Because I can't get him to stack. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm missing something. Am I doing something wrong? Because a lot of you are saying you guys are stacking it. But is it with the bench trick? Everything stacked just about even branches and breeding pens. Is it just... I mean, I can't get this to stack. When you're trying to position something and you get almost perfect. Oh, Chris. That happens all the time. Okay, okay, so you so you're doing it with the with the bench trick. Okay, with the bench, okay. Okay. Put a bench and a bench and on top of the bench and the bench on top of that, etc. So it kinda like we do with the plantation boxes, right? That same trick, right? And then let it floating in the air. Let it floating in the air. Okay, okay, alright. That was just my question, okay. So that's how you guys are doing it. Okay. I just I just want to make sure that it wasn't So and but I, I guess you do hide it so it doesn't look as uh let's just say ugly, I guess. Like so so it be something that you truly hide so that way aesthetically it looks nicer the other way. Okay. So we do that. So you will put in I just Doing it here so everybody can see it, might as well. All right, so we're stacking it there. Because you can't do like this and then do a bench, right? Because the bench will be on the way. Let me see. No, because the bench now will be on the way. Okay, so you do got to do the bench, 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 depending how high, and then slowly take it out, right? And if I went to do the bed, now, I don't know. It's still registering. Do you have gaps, Ranch? Do you have gaps? So I do you best got gaps? Because it doesn't seem like I can get it nice and I can get it just right underneath it. Oh, work from bottom to top. Ah, oh, see, this is why I'm. I, 
Okay, okay. So work from bottom to top. Okay. This is why I kind of want to do it right here, right now on stream, so people can see it. Because one thing is explaining it, and then another thing is seeing it in action to really understand it. Okay. All right. So work top to bottom. Remove two bench. Ah. So you are going to have a gap, but okay. Because you are removing two benches. Okay. I see. All right. So... All right, so just to... Okay, so Miles said you should have gaps to the pals lay in between. Okay, so we, we're we going to have gap. Okay, so basically... Okay, guys, so... so All right, so Maul and Ranch have done this trick. Uh, basically, they're saying that you're going to have a gap in between the beds. So if aesthetically that's not pleasing to your eye, you just make a room and hide the beds, right? That's probably what they're doing, right? Just hiding the beds in a corner of the barn or on their bases and just enclose it, right? So you're gonna have a gap. So basically what they're saying is, uh, uh, you're gonna put one there, you're gonna delete two benches. Once they build it, delete two benches and put the next one. So you go six high and then you should be able to put three, probably three. So we delete that, we delete that. And now we should be able to do the next one, okay. And then we delete the next one. Oh, well, I deleted the bed by accident. But you should be able then to, let me just build it again that way. That way we can see it. All right, come on, pals. Come on, pals. Build quick. Build quick. This is making one to all Noctua pals base and stack beds. I know. Right? All right, and then we put on, okay, I see, I see. You know, this actually, you can do a little floating staircase, round staircase, like like start and then go around. And maybe you can do, uh, you know, and maybe you can do some type of something like this. Or maybe the small one. Let me see something. If I was gonna do that. Okay, and I do the tall one instead. Yeah, a combination like that. I don't know. Every time I see floaty stuff, right? Your, your minds tend to wonder if you could do something with that, you know? Now, you can definitely do like floating steps just for fun, you know, and not make it realistic, like they're supported with something. If, if I, I do have a problem, one of my weaknesses is that I think very realistic in my own stuff, not for other people's stuff, but for my own stuff. Uh, and when, when, when it's for my stuff and it's, if it doesn't make sense realistically, it kind of bothers me like in my brain. It does bother me, but when I see it in other places, then it looks fantastic because it's not my place, but it looks really good on their place. But imagine using the beds and you can make like a fun aerial place, like just over a floating bridge across the base. I don't know, I don't know. There's possibilities for that, right? There's a lot of possibility. Uh, could be a bed, could be a bed tree. Oh my gosh. Oh, a bed tree. There, there, I mean, it will take forever to do something like that because you see the patience you gotta have and trial and error and, but that's really cool. You are, you are also awesome. These tips and ideas are remarkable. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. I, I'm definitely gonna have to rename the stream because it definitely became a, a, I don't know, talk, talk design tip stream, something like that. I'm gonna have to name it very different so people know what they're getting into because I didn't do any base work. I do apologize for that for everybody that came in. My plan was to do a little interior decorating and we were gonna work on this temple, but I kind of ran out of time. I definitely had a lot of fun today talking and we got so many good ideas, right? You seen, I'm in love with this. This, this is one of my new favorite things right here. 
uh, this to make our own little made up bookshelf. I really like this. I really like this. And I'm going to finish the, on my own time. Basically, this wall is going to be filled with this. I think in between, I'm going to put another leather chair. So I think somewhere like around here, somewhere around here, I may do like another leather chair, like like this, maybe like this, right? Let me just put it right here, right, right, right the center. If I can get it right. Like that, you know, and it just gives you a little walkway or maybe I just put it more in the corner. I don't know. I really like how this corner came out. I think one of the last thing that I really wanted to do, but I got distracted and I know I got, I'll, I got distracted a lot. So I do, uh, thank you everybody for being so patient with me today. Cause I got too many tips, too much, too much excitement, uh, from all of you. Uh, okay, so as you can see, we can put the green carpet, like if you wanted the green one here, but you, I would definitely have to take everything out. So remember that carpet, you have to place it first and then you can place stuff. Uh, let's see, let's put it kind of like that. And maybe, maybe you want a little stool right here to put, maybe somebody's putting their feet up. <laughs> uh, you just do something like this. Now, a lot of people do like to put vines inside their homes too. So, and that also helps a little bit. You know, I'm not, I mean, I, you can always add a little vines back here in the wall, but you know, you add a little carpet area like this, uh, you know, a little stool in front, like they're putting their feet up or something like that. You know, it's just a little hallway, right? It's just a little hallway. And I think once I finish this with a little bit, because it's it just meant to be a hallway. It's not to be lived in, but some people sit down on hallways, right? Um, and we can do that. Maybe we can put a mirror in here. But those were the things that we're supposed to do today, but we got we got distracted. We got sidetracked. Uh, I see why people get paid the big bucks to be an interior decorator. Oh, yeah. An interior decorator is... It's a lot of learning, right? What are you going to do in the middle of your base? You mention it multiple times, but what is it? I need to know. Well, I know what I want to do. It's, it's going to be a trial and error, and I really don't want to reveal it just yet, just because if it works, maybe I could be the first one to do it. But I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, I really, but imagine Plaza Courtyard style, right? That, like, that's the biggest clues that I, I, I want to give out, but, you know, we, we just want to do something, you know, and the whole reason why everything is kind of leading in this direction, because in the biggest clue be kind of like a courtyard type of area. Now, it's going to be a lot of trial and error, and it's, it may not be something that a lot of people may want to do, because I think it's going to be like, you got to have so much patience just to stack everything and align everything, just so it can look good. It's, it's, I don't know if it's gonna worth the effort to do it for a lot of people, but for me, I just want something like, like you know, try to keep pushing power, uh, the uniqueness of the builds. Uh, but yeah, and then of course we wanna bring in the fountain. There's a couple of things that we wanna do still, uh, but my plan is that I really, I really, I'm, I'm really thinking that I'm really gonna move this temple uh, and make it a little more straight, so it looks straight into here. So instead of being a little sideways, that way it's facing a little more straight towards the band uh, and kind of makes a little more of that square shape that we kind of be doing. So I'm thinking that this is gonna get a, a major revamp, still in this kind of the same location, but make everything a little more straight. And maybe now that I learn more about the defense walls and stuff like that, and understanding more of this floating platform or the roofing, maybe I can make it look even more, make it look more like a temple. I mean, that, that'd be kind of more the idea of the shrine and stuff like that. So, so we'll see how I can make that work once I get on it. Wish you could add more variants in the, in the future so the walls will have different shades. 
like in Minecraft based building, I think it will. I mean, if if anybody's seen Craftopia, if you never heard of Craftopia, it's it's the it's their first game that this company did, right? They did Craftopia, and now they're doing Power. And basically, the way you're building Craftopia is the way you're building in Power. Now, for everything that they have stated, the people from Power and the developer, they're doing a massive hiring right now on their end. And their, their plans is to bring the way you're building Craftopia for what they said to bring it to Power. Now, everything in Craftopia is built on the engine Unity, and this is a real engine, so they gotta rework how everything works. This is why a lot of the things here are still a little glitchy, they say, just because it's early access, of course, so it's gonna be like that, and they just kinda transfer some of the biggest stuff into here. Um, but if you ever seen anything in Craftopia and all the items and what people have done in, those, in, in that game, because it is a builder's game, uh, if they if they manage to bring all the stuff that they do they do in Craftopia, then this is gonna be an awesome builder games with pals. But we we gotta wait, right? We gotta wait. We gotta wait a lot of time. Bane, I did what you did with the plantation, and it looks pretty good. I really like it. I just did two stacks. Bane, Bane, welcome in, welcome in. Yes. So the the plantation stack boxes. A lot of people still have questions, you know. Uh, and this is. I mean, I used to have more, but what I did, it was m all the pals that I had could not handle that many. They were getting a little, some of the other plantations over there, they were getting left behind because this one demanded so much. What I did, I took out the other three. I just left three. I having enough. I technically could take out maybe one less because they're making so much wheat. Like they're making so much wheat. Like I got so much wheat all the time. And as you can see, I already got 10,000, 10,000, and I'm already, uh, so they're just, technically, I, I don't need three stacks. I can actually go down, right? But I already got 10,000, 10,000, I mean, and I'm making cake. So, so two should be enough for most of people, right? Most of people. And over here, everything over here is still single. I never had a reason to, to double stack all of this. I got plenty of tomato, plenty of lettuce. Uh, we still get plenty of berries that they keep, they're always picking up. So I don't need that much. And as you can see where they got the food there, they're constantly eating berries. We did the trick to they can put all the food in the, in the free refrigerator. If this is something that if you didn't know, I know a lot of people have said it, but I'll say it since I'm right here. If you want the pals to put food in the fridge, right? Then make cotton candy because it never expired. Fill it up in all in all the other squares, you know, and then just leave one spot for the berries. And then what they'll do, make sure you have a clear path, and then they'll come and they'll put everything else that's food related into here. So as you can see, you know, I got 1,946 lettuce, uh, 473 milk, uh, 3566. <laughs> wow. I got a lot of tomatoes and, of course, a bunch of uh, wheat and all of that. Also took the idea for the barn and it turned out so well. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm always, I'm always grateful to hear how people are enjoying the designs, right? Uh, okay, so this weekend, this weekend for me, hopefully I have the build video out for you guys that are following the build series, you know. Uh, it's either going to be reworking the temple or we are going to do the other entrance of this particular base, right? Because we do have an entrance right over here. Uh, so I want to make another official entrance on this side. So I could either be working on the entrance or we're going to be working on the temple. So so that's going to be part of my job uh, this weekend is to, to work on that, get it edited, do the voiceover, and get all that done. Also, if you click the sort button in the cooler, the food, it restarts the cooldown timer on the food. Yes, that's very true. Uh, that's a good tip uh, that Shelly Marie just said. I never use it because I I always have enough food. So, I mean, but if you can also do this and it kind of resets the timer. And if you do it again, you see, it just keeps resetting the timer. So, if you got something that's got very little, maybe you don't have a cool... A, a cool pile yet to cool your stuff down so it can slow down 
the the process, then just keep going in here, keep resorting, and it'll keep resetting that timer uh, for you, as you can see. Uh, okay. And look at that. And look at Kate. Look at beautiful Kate right there. Okay. All right. Uh, well, if that's the case, I'll get rid of my Frostalian. Okay. Yeah, but don't forget. Okay. Let, let me show you something. Because it's important to have a cool person, a cooling. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. So right now, for something to expire, it will take 99 minutes and 28 seconds to lose one. Now, if you... Uh, if you don't have a cool, cool person, right? Let, let me, let me just put this person here, right? Let's just throw it over there. Let, let's get him out of the way. Now, now everything in 10 minutes, you lose one. 10 minutes, you lose one egg. In 10 minutes, you lose one milk. In 38 minutes, you lose one grain. You, in, in 10 minutes, you basically lose a tomato. 10 minutes, you lose this. And 10 minutes, you lose your flour. So it is important unless you're gonna reset the timer every 10 minutes yourself, or if you have a lot. But if you're not, you definitely are going to still need uh, one of the cool pals, you know? Because, now I have a small one. This is just level one, you know? I, you know, cause it looks, it's nice and it fits very well. And I like a cat on the farm. I think it looks cool. But as you can see, now we're back to 91 minutes. So if, so it's good to have one, right? And if you don't have to have a big one, you can do a little one. I, I got the cat version just because it's so nice, right? It's just, it just looks so nice. And I really like the cat. I really like aesthetic. I always, I always believe and I say that when you play in Power World, play with the pals that you really like. Yeah, unlock the legendary, unlock the big ones, unlock, you know, the massive ones if you want to that way. If you ever get stuck, you got powerful pals. But on your basis, I believe that you should use the pals that really you like aesthetically. You know, uh, one person wrote me, and, and I always use this example because they're like, I love the bunny, but he's so weak. And what, what I mean by the bunny is, uh, let me see if I can find the bunny. Uh, this, this beautiful bunny, right? They're like, I want to make this cozy base, and I want to use this bunny, but it's all level one. And, but I really wanted to use it, you know, and you, you know what I told the person? It's like, hey, it's your base. It's aesthetically pleasing. If you want to see, if you want to have four bunnies running around, right, that they're doing the gathering and the working, then use the bunny, right? I Use the pals that you really want to see in your base. It doesn't matter, right? Use the pals. Have powerful pals for when you do your fighting, your questing, you're doing boss battles, you, you want to defeat the, the towers. Have strong ones, right? Have strong ones. It's very important, but on your base, on your base, if you like the bunny, you know, make the bunny four star. Everything will jump to level two at least, right? You will have working at level two, transporting level two, if you take it to four star, right? So start breeding bunnies, get all the bunnies together, make it four star, make everything level two, and, and just really, really pull pals that you really love. If you love horses, there's, there's a couple horses types then use those in your in your in your area, right? If you like the little penguins, you want everything to be nice and cute and the cutest base ever, then use the cutest pals that you really like and put them there. It's gonna be okay. It truly really is gonna be okay. Now, if you're if you're defending your base and you got raids on, then I do understand you need powerful pals. So that's different. But if you turn off raids, just use the ones that you want, truly. Enjoy the game. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Collect the legendaries. Breed the most powerful. Have it in your in your pop box. So when you need to use it. Now, if you're a fan and you want to have your legendaries in the base doing the work, then do it. You know, do it that way too. Uh, but as you can see, if you if you look at, at my pals, they're not like the best pals in the world. I just I like them. You know, this these are the pals that I think I like a lot right now. And some of them are on purpose. You know, who doesn't want um, this one for mining and all of that. But, you know, I got the penguin because I like the penguin. Uh, you know, I got this one because it does remind me of Pikachu. So, you know, but we got this one. And sometimes I do alternate and put different ones now and then just to have something different, you know. But as you can see, uh, also, there are choices to make everything work perfectly. 
Uh, and some of them, you know, you need the farming. So you also need the cow and all that for, so you can breed cake. So, but truly my recommendation would be if you, if, if you truly love a pound, like I like the cat. Not many people will, will use the cat to put some, uh, to keep the cooler cool, right? They will use something more powerful, maybe a level three something. I like the cat. I, just, I really love the cat. Since the first time I saw it, I already knew I wanted the cat to be the one that was going to do the cooler, right? So so truly, enjoy the world. Enjoy Power World. Uh, be different if you want to be different. You know, uh, my pals that I use on fighting, this is another thing. I don't use, like, the recommended pal. I, I, I go with what aesthetically pleases me, and I work at it, right? I'm working on this one. There's better flying ones. There's better of everything, right? But I'm using this one. I really like this one. Uh, we call this one Shelly Marie from one of our mods in the channel. And I'm working my way to make it a four-star. Now, I've been having them breeding, so I got I got to put a lot of eggs to uh, to hatch. Uh, let me... I got... I, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to get uh, Shelly to... Well, I picked up too many. I forgot to keep an eye on the... Forgot to keep an eye on the, on the weight. Um, so there we go. Let's do this. And, and as you can see, uh, I'm I'm still playing a lot of in normal because I want my game, my power world game, to last. So a lot of people ask me why do I don't change the timer. It's just preferably, it's preference, right? I I I'm not in a hurry to be power world because if I beat it too quickly, then you know, you can kind of get bored. So I don't want to get bored of power. All right, let me see if I can make this jump. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I still run this in in different timers, but there we go. All right. And let's go to the other side and put over here. So I've been doing this. I've been doing a lot of breeding lady. You know, it's just leveling pals that I really like. If you, if you like one, you know, take it to four star. You know, it takes a moment. Actually, if you actually lower the the timer, I mean, this one's half hour, so it's not bad for me, and I'm doing uh, two, four, six, eight at a time. So in half hour, when I'm playing, they just hatch real quickly uh, for me. But you can do this instant, right? The instant hatching, bring it down to zero. If you really wanna bring all the pals to level four, uh, four stars, you can do that real quickly too, and it just keeps evolving uh, right away. Uh, Foxico is so cute. Check it in the pal deck. I know Foxico. I saw it. I saw it on yesterday on our member stream. We went to Ranch Base and she had one, and it was so I never seen one. I I think it's now that I saw it. I think I I guess I saw one in the wild one time, but I never. Wait, I guess I saw. A, oh yeah, the, I did see the frost down there because I went over there. Let me see if I see Foxico. And exactly, you know. Oh, maybe I haven't seen it personally on this account. Oh no, there it is. So there it is. This is this this one looks so what? See what? Uh, we we saw this one on your on your base yesterday, Ranch. Uh Stefa Fa. Oh my gosh, Stefa Fa. I can't recognize you with your new profile. Took me a moment. Stefa Fa. Welcome, man. Stefa Fa, welcome, man. Just playing uh, normally gave me a lot more hours compared to my friends. Yeah, uh, wisdom exactly. I'm playing normal now. I did finally, and I'm I'm I like to be transparent because I don't want people to think uh, I we finally turned race off because a lot of people were worried that I'm doing all this work on the build video series and they were afraid that's gonna get burned down. So that's off. So we finally turned off Ray. I still play with if I passed out. I haven't passed out in forever. Because now I got better shields, we got more health. But I still, if I manage to pass out, I drop everything uh, be, beside the pals, just the normal setting. And the only thing, other thing that has changed in my main account has been the uh, when you build outside the circle, you know, thing kind of break down. We turn that off uh, because I seen what people have been doing to expand on their on, on their bases. Even though the pals can work outside of the circle, but I really want to expand just a little bit and not having to be just precisely on the circle. So I did finally turn that off, uh, and we, I did that yesterday. So 
Uh, so now I can build outside the circle and nothing will eventually break down. So I'm excited for that. Uh, they fixed the race to where everything doesn't burn. Oh, really? Wait, they did that? Because I, I actually like the raid. If it doesn't burn down, really? It doesn't burn anything down? Oh, it, it can burn down, but it's not as often. Because the raids were kind of fun. You know, I don't know. And you get a bunch of draw. I don't know. I always found the raids fun, but I turn it off because I, I, a lot of people were concerned, right? That was for Shelly. Uh, they fixed the race. I know they need to. They need a bigger. A big, big girl. Ch oh, okay. I see, Stefafa. Yeah, so Fossico, I still need to find it. So, uh, but right now, if you would like to know, this this is the team that I'm, I'm going to be running uh, for the third tower. Uh, I'm getting them. I'm getting my pals strong because uh, we we need them to get strong, right? Uh, so uh, of course I'm level them up. Uh, oh, oh, and Shelly, if you're still here, Shelly, I finally got you. Uh, I got a good one. I, I changed it. This is the best Shelly that I have now. So with muscle head, with defense, and with another extra attack. So extra forty and a little. I I would have liked to have the twenty defense here. But I'm not being able to breed one, and I managed to get this one to 35, and I committed to this one, so I'm not gonna change it, even if I get one because I don't want to rebreed everything again. But I really got a better version of Shelly Marie right now. I think the next one that I'm gonna work on once Shelly gets to four star is gonna be Fiona. Uh, get Fiona to four star. Uh, then the team that I'm working that I'm gonna be using for the third tower and hopefully to beat it, uh, we got Brandy. So Brandy's gonna be on the team. Now, I do need to get a better Brandy, so eventually we need to bring more of that. Of course, we got Samantha over here at level 38, and then I'm bringing one ground type. Uh, we're gonna be bringing Mr. Honey, uh, this war sec that I really, I really like. It's, it's not a popular one, not a lot of people like it. I like watching streams and people get to this one, they're like, oh no, it's a bug, I don't like it. I, maybe because I'm a guy, but I really like, I really like, he's just, I just feel like he looks so cool. That black and gold, look at that, look at that face. Now, that face reminds me more of a Digimon face. And if, is there any Digimon fans out there? You know, auto, uh, when, when, he, when he goes to the, ah, when, man, it's been a while, Agumon and the, the wolf one, they make it to the mega Mega Evolution or whatever, the high one. Uh, Omnimon, I think Omnimon is might be called. That eye, that eye, and with that mask, that to me is Digimon right there. That's, to me, that's Digimon. Like, he looks more like a Digimon than a Pokemon. Uh, I just love the way he looks. It just, I don't know, it just looks cool. And he's been on my team ever since. He's my defense. In any team, I bring him in my fire team, and I'm bringing him in my ice team. But but this is my team. This is my team for the third tower that we're gonna try to uh, do, and I'm gonna try to do it on stream when I defeat the tower. So we're gonna try to see that. And I'm staying with that with the blue. Yeah, the water piles will put down fires. The fire used to spread to everything, but. Okay, so I like that ranch. Okay, so maybe, maybe once I'm done with the base, maybe I'll, I, 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 all, I honestly enjoy the race. I, the race never bothered me because I never, my pals will always defeat it. Now, I always had strong pals. Now that I turn race off, I'm, I put very weak pals just for the aesthetic. So if I do turn race back on, I make sure that they're kind of strong, level them up or something like that before I did that. Uh, but I, I, I do like, uh, uh, worst egg. I, I, I like this one. But but this is going to be my team. This is going to be my trial team to take down the third tower that we haven't done yet. Uh, so Shelly is almost at four. So that's going to be good. Grumpy is at one. I think I'm almost getting enough of him. I'll be doing the little boss battle and maybe I can soon take him to, se to two star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I need two more. I think it's 12, right? 12 to take him to two star. So I want to take him to two star and then 
I want to try to have like at least Fiona, Samantha, and Brandy at level two in two starts. That way it gets a little more attack and more defense so they can survive longer. Uh, but that, that, that's the plan. Uh, Pyrene and Retro and Wars equal... Oh, Pyrene and Reptile equals Warsec. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I got I got male and female now that I know I can breed them to get more instead of doing the boss. But I've been breeding... Uh, I've been doing this one. Now, before that, I was doing my fire team. If you guys know my fire team, if you if you watch previous channels before, uh, we I do finally got my uh, Sherry Cola, I believe, right here. I already got this one a four star. Uh, so I got this one a four star because it's one of my members of the fire team. And the other fire team that I got that I really love is one of my favorites. Let me see. I think I passed it. Where is it? Uh, oh my goodness, where is it? Where's Kaya? Oh my goodness, wait. Where is it? I guess I may, may only have one. Uh, Alright, that's scary. Uh, wait. Where is... My fire, my other fire four star. Nothing here, nothing here. It's the, okay, all that is that, all that is that. All right, there's, it's not that one. Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Did I? I don't get it. I don't get it. Wait a minute. Uh, by if I do it by level, she should. It should be up here in the. Oh no! Wait a minute. What happened to Kaya? Is that? Oh no. I wonder if I sold it by accident when I was getting rid of a lot of my pals. Because my inbox was full of just a bunch of random ones. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, well, I guess. No. I, Kaya, I'm so sorry. I, that was my first four star. I don't think I put it on the other base because I only got one fire. No, I only got this one in here. I only got one fire. And nothing's there. Uh, it, yeah, it's not on this one. And I only got, and this, and I only got my main base. Oh, no. Kaya, I'm so. Kaya, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to rework. I'm gonna look one more time, but I don't see it by Paladeck number. Okay, so nothing here. Is the, is the fire looking blue? Kaya, Kaya, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you back up. I'll probably do that right away. Now, this is why I keep asking for a locking feature, locking the feature, because this is what happened. You can delete one by accident, right? Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Because it should have been already in one of those pages right here. So, Kaya, don't you worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to breed another one and get a good one and just work you up to four star because you're part of my fire team. So, okay. So yeah, I, I somehow I lost one. So, and Kaya was this one is, see, it should be this one, the Kitsun. It should be this one. 
So it should be right after the deer and right after the fire horses, right? So if you look again, uh, there's the deer, there's the fire horses, and then she should be in between this one and this one. So I guess when I was emptying my, my pile boxes, selling all this extra inventory that I had, I accidentally, that, that's the only thing I can think of, uh, was uh, the Kitsu, Kitsu. Wait, you can buy her back? Wait, no, is that a real thing or you're just joking with me, Ranch? Yeah, I know my, my pal boss got full and it was a couple days ago and I went, I saw just a bunch of stuff that I wasn't even going to care. 134 out of 10. <laughs> uh, and this box is almost full because I've been breeding so much of this one. Uh, if you drop it in the well, then myself back yeah i think i sold it to the normal i don't think i did it and i don't think i dropped her anywhere in the world no i only got two pop uh this one and the one on the other mine i haven't done my exactly uh it's okay i'll i'll figure it out uh I know there's only one, but I don't think, I think I got this one here. This is a pile, but I don't think this is her. I think this is just something that I was trying to catch. I noticed that I was full and I know we went back and grab it. I can always check that X just in case if that's Kaya. But if not Kaya, I promise you, by the time we do the next stream, I'm gonna have you back. We're gonna have a powerful one and I'm gonna have you back at four star, okay? Cause you were my first four star. Because that was one of my favorite that I really wanted to level up to four. Oh my gosh, that's brilliant, Kaya. That's a really cool idea. Didn't set up a temporary... No, no, I only got two bases. Two bases only. This one and this one. I never set up my third one because I know the third one, I want to do it somewhere probably over here where we got quartz. Uh... But I haven't done my third one. No, I honestly think what happened, my pole box got very full. I started breeding to get Sherry Cola to four star to do that. I need a space. I remember going to the village and I went to this guy right over here, you know, to, I went to this village here and I was selling all the extra, all the extra inventory and I sold a bunch. And I always make sure, right? Uh, but I don't think you can buy anything here, right? Like buy the stuff you sold back. So, uh, and I sold a bunch to empty my pile box and I condense all the ones that I needed, I could condense. So it's on me, it's on me, it's, it's, it's live or learn. I'm gonna be paying more attention in the future. And I would suggest all of you to do the same thing if you end up selling pals like I did. Now, there is not a locking feature and I wish there was, right? I wish that you can go here and let's say, let's say you pick this one, right? This shiny and I wish that we can lock it, you know, like do not sell. I think that's a requirement. I, at least I never seen one and I've asked before and I don't think nobody has ever seen it. I've been beating that dead horse for ages Viewing cages holds like 50 pals. Yeah, I need to put one that looks good because it's going to look messy. But I guess I, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I don't do this mistake again. They said you need to find a room on your base and put down the holding pen ASAP. I will do that. Yeah, because I don't want to lose some of these other ones. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh I mean, you can put whatever you want on the name. So I guess you could do. And but I mean, they already got like the special ones, like Cool Lady. I mean, you could put, I, I guess I could put a symbol if I wanted to, like, like that. You could put a star. Uh, 
I guess you can do something bigger if you wanted to, kind of like, so you can kind of take notice. I don't know. I don't know. You could, you could put something, a symbol in the front, right? But I think the best option would be to do uh, this. Okay, so what everybody's talking in chat is to do this. Uh, go to build. Go to other. Is it other? Or... Where is it? Where is that viewing cage? Uh, is it on PAL? Okay, so the viewing cage. Okay, so the viewing cage is enormous. As you guys can see, it's very big. <laughs> it's very big. Uh, so you can put this here. Uh, they'll build it, and then you can put... Uh, oh, they're, they're telling me here on chat up to 50 PALs. You can do 50 pals. Now, if you put 50 pals here, they don't require any food or none of that. So I know that. Uh, and so this now gives me an idea to do a special build for a viewing cage and maybe do multiples of them so it doesn't feel so cramped like with so many. Oh, you know what would be great? Oh, man, I could do this on the third case, but do a viewing cage. But do for each team. So you got your fire team, your electric team, your and put all five of each in each of the viewing. Like this is the team, this is the ice team, this is the ground team. I mean you wouldn't need a lot of cages, but or in each base have a few of those. Uh and then once it's built, but it does take a lot of room, as you guys can see. Uh it does take a lot of room in a base. So uh this is a good build to make it high. Maybe a multi-level showcase. Um, I will have to really think about it. I mean, I will if 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 I'm gonna go this route, you guys know I'm gonna try to design something because I just don't want it just to be drop anywhere. I want it to be aesthetic. I want it to make sense. Uh, and and just maybe put stuff around it. So imagine you do the electric one, and then you put a lot of those electric stuff around it. So it makes it feel even cooler, you know? And then if you do the ice one, maybe you put a lot of those ice blocks and stuff like that. If you do the fire, you do a lot of the fire heaters or fire, uh, the cauldrons. You can do a lot of the cauldrons around the fire display. You know, and my, my brain's already thinking about different things that we could do and make it look cool, right? We can build a zoo. There we go. We can build the, the first Power World zoo. <laughs> The Pearl Wild World Suit. Now, okay, let me uh, let, let me check on something. Okay. Can you... You can't put that outside the circle, right? By any chance, can you do that outside of the circle? Do, no. Once I go outside, structure outside the base will deteriorate. Can you put this outside the circle? Has anywhere? No, you can't. Cause that'd be nice. It would have been nice if we let you put it outside the circle because it's just for viewing. The pals are just there, just walking around. It's a pal item. Darn it. It would have been great. It would have been great. Okay, okay, all right. So, Kaya, one more time. I do apologize, uh, but don't worry, Kaya. You're going to be back. You're going to be back. After I finish Shelly, I promise that I'm going to start breeding a new Kitsu, and we're going to get a powerful one. Maybe even more powerful than the last time, and we'll get you like that to four star, okay? That will be my new my new goal as I'm working and breeding is get Kaya back to four star. But they stack. Wait, so that cage stacks? Oh well, everything stacks, right? With the benches. Because of the benches. You can put a roof over it. Yeah, no, no, like like I said, if if I do already have ideas, right? It's just, it's such a big cage. That's why I never put it, because it was such a room. It was, it was, it takes so much room. It takes much room. Okay, well, uh, Kaya, one more time, I do apologize, but we're going to get you back on the team, okay? You're going to be back on the team, because you're my main, one of my main fire units, and it's one of my favorite pals in the game. So definitely, I got to get that fire team back and running. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, what a great stream. Truly, what a great stream. What a great way to hang out. I want to say uh, thank you so much for hanging out today uh, and being uh, with us and hanging out uh, here. And 
giving me all your tips today. So I, I learned so much from you guys today. Uh, new ideas, new way to use furniture. Furniture that I didn't even try to make bookcase or tables and stuff like that. Uh, being careful not to delete pals by accident. Uh, learn from my mistake. That's what I always say. Learn from my mistake so you guys can do better. Be a lot better than I am. Um, and yeah, uh, I want to say thank you. Truly, thank you. Oh my gosh, I was really late. I will have to watch the rest later. <laughs> Stefafa. Stefafa. But th thank you. This uh, I am going to change the title of the stream because this basically became uh, talk design talk design stream a talking design stream so many tips so many advice so many things that we learned today so I'm, i really appreciate that uh what's uh chris and let's 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 okay all right let's say chris i, I believe chris today was the mvp of the stream because she came in hard with some really amazing design tips so we want to say, first of all, thank you, Chris, for coming in. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for truly sharing all your knowledge that you've been finding out for Power. If uh, if you can figure out how to take a screenshot, I would definitely love to see some of your creations. So then I can show it. If you don't mind, I would like to show that. Sometimes we show pictures on stream of what people do. Uh, and of course, if I take any of your ideas, I do like to give credit where credit is due. So I do want to say thank you for coming in and for providing us with so many amazing ideas and designs and items. Uh, also, uh, Shelly for also inspiring the container idea. A lot of you love the container idea and seeing the pal looking off the window. We want to say thank you for that. Uh, and some of the other people throughout all the videos that leave comments and pictures, people putting pictures, people DMing me pictures. We want to say, say thank you to them because doing the bench trick, doing the little uh, stacking a wall of benches and make it look like a little greenhouse effect, uh, stacking the big table and make it look like an iron shelving situation. Very clever idea. Uh, just a lot of talk, a lot of a lot of stuff today, right? Figure out the roofing, figure out just a couple of this. It became a all we did was just tips. That's all we did, right? Le learning from one another. Uh, learning how to put the the shower, right? The the bathtub, right? We gotta take the roof off. But then we learned that then you need to also take out the main roof so you can put the roof and then you can put the other roof back on. So we learned that today. The curtain, right? The the red curtain. We, uh, you guys now know that you need to take out the floor. Then it lets you put the curtain and then you can put the floor back on again. So. A lot of those questions that we got to answer today for a lot of you. I finished and he's still going. April, April, April. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then I do want to make an announcement. Uh, we do have uh, uh, from from April's community. Uh, April's one of my moderators. Uh, at the same time, uh, one of his uh, one of her moderators over there. Uh, and we consider April's uh, a family, just like we are familiar here. So their community is our community too. Just the same way we think about uh, all Steph and Gaines. We say we're constant primos, you know, but all Steph and Gaines is also like familia. So when all the content creators, you know, when something serious happens, you know, we know we can trust different content creators. So I want to read this message uh, from April that she wrote me that I did tell her that I was going to read it at the end of the stream. Uh, one of the moderators of April, his father is dying on cancer right now. Uh, and, I, and and his mother also has cancer as well. So the father and the mom, they both got cancer and there's some type of tumor. Uh, the mother was a soul take care and it's a genetic disease, similar, uh, it's a genetic disease that they're having. And and now, I mean, I'm, I'm not reading everything, but there's some stuff that are a little private, so I'm just reading in between. Uh, and he was very transparent after that. I offered to create. So there is this GoFundMe, you know, to help out if you're in any shape and form, you know, um, if you ever seen April or not, you know. Uh, and like every other content creator, we all we do this nightly. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. It's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, uh, but it is created there. I'm going to let April uh, drop the link of the GoFundMe or if you want to message April on her 
um, YouTube page or stuff like that to get more information. You're more than welcome uh, to do that. But I'm gonna let April to do that as well. And then we have another good friend, content creator of the channel that they're doing a Sherry stream as Lily Nice Gaming. Uh, it's gonna be on February 23rd to the 25th. It's gonna be at 9.30 Eastern time. And let me see share my streaming event so it's a it's a streaming event post in the community section on youtube uh it's for the mental health charity stream so if if, if you're one of those people that like to support those type of events online and all the creators that participate in kind of events like that uh and we love lily nice gaming uh we i sing her content she's really good at what she does so if, i'm gonna put lily nice gaming also if one of my moderators can put that in the chat so if you are not subscribed to lily so this is a great opportunity check out the content you like what you see subscribe to the channel uh it's always free and always helps somebody out uh but at the same time if you if you're free that day and you want to just go there support by viewing support by just hanging out or anything that you can do then check out our good friend lily nice gaming um and, and i want to say thank you to the familia you know for going out of the way uh you, in, even if you can't give or even if you can't do all that stuff that's a little more serious, you know, just being there as support, just writing a good message comes a long way, you know. Uh, believe me that not everything has to be about money. Sometimes being there emotionally in support, in words, in kindness can come a long way. Uh, as uh, Words are powerful, you know, so sometimes just speaking, just speaking and encouraging people sometimes they need that they need they need to hear that you know so i want to say thank you i really want to say thank you okay all right guys so uh we'll be back tomorrow uh like always it's tomorrow it's cozy friday we were going we were supposed to do be having a collab stream with ray menora ray menora had to postpone the, that because she had a death in the family so she's going to be going to a funeral memorial service so we are going to definitely going to reschedule with ray menora because we are excited to partner up with Ray Menora and build in Dincom, but we had to postpone it, but we're not canceling, we're just postponing. Uh, but we'll be back with Ray Menora, uh, so it won't be tomorrow anymore, but we're gonna reschedule and we're gonna have fun in Dinko with Ray Menora next time. But we do wish and send condolences to Ray Menora that she's gonna be going to a memorial service for a member of their family. So, and Ray Menora, I know you're not here, but we love you. So we hope that you have uh, a good, at the best time as you can with your family and being there for your family. So we, we do care for that. And I'm glad that you're doing that and you being there for your family first. That's always important. Okay. All right. All right. So we don't want to end in a, in a very, in a, in a very serious tone, but I do want to say thank you for everything that you guys do for being here, hanging out in our Thursday power world stream. Uh, keep an eye for a lot of stuff coming over the weekend. Uh, especially if you are a member of the channel, we're going to have two new, member challenge video drop one of them is a sing-along and then another one most likely will be another cooking one so uh keep an eye on that but it's not the weekend yet tomorrow's friday so we'll be back tomorrow with cozy friday getting ready for the ddv update so it's gonna be a very exciting stream and that's all that's all that's all i have that's all i have okay uh i want to say uh that's it that's all i have okay I'll be back for my outro, most likely. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the new ads, uh, for all the new names that we saw today that came in because they subscribed through the Power World video and they were able to hang out with us. I appreciate every single one of you uh, for all your comments, for all your feedback, especially today. You guys made it awesome. Made it awesome. Okay, all right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. For the new people gonna be here, my goodness, Jersey takes forever to say goodbye. Welcome to Jersey Goodbye Style. All right, guys.
And once again, thank you so much for everything. I almost ended, then I saw the countdown. So Shelly Marie brought me in with the countdown. We want to say one more time how much we love the familia, how much we love all of you. Thank you so much. I hope that you are truly enjoying the content, enjoying what we're trying to do here in Jersey Games. I want to say thank you one more time for everybody that are buying the troll shirt or mug or sticker because we do have a stickers. If you just want to spend two dollars and something cents and you wanted that troll sticker, we do have a troll sticker as well that you can put it anywhere. You want to put it in your car, you want to put it on the cubicle and always remember how much you guys make me smile and laugh during, especially during the DDV streams, right? But I do want to say thank you. It was a drawing that took a little time to make, but the community wanted it, so we went ahead and made it happen. Okay, okay. Rally K is getting me mind blown. Mind blown? Why? Why the mind blown? But Either way, uh, we want to say again, congratulations to Stefan Fa for making it to 500 subscribers, revamping his channel, revamping the logo. I'm going to get used to I'm so used to Stefan Fa being blue that seeing this new design is throwing me off. Stefan Fa throwing me off with a curveball, but we'll get used to it, right? Right? She was known for the blue, blue color, blue everything. And now we have something different, but but we want to say congratulations to Sefafa once again to making it to 500 subscribers. Uh, we're so excited for her journey on YouTube as well as a content creator. And and we need to do something one day, Sefafa. I know we keep saying it, and I know it's hard to coordinate, but one day we need to make it happen. Make it happen, right? Okay, that's it. I love you all. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that like on your way out if you haven't. Subscribe if you're lurking and you haven't subscribed. There's a lot more stuff coming and and action and pro members Announcement coming very soon for you guys Very soon. I think me and my wife got it down Got it down and we're gonna be adding really cool stuff for you guys So action and pro member announcement soon soon if I can film it this weekend if not the following but everything will start uh, for sometime in March, but action and pro members Keep an eye out. Okay, love you all. Bye. Veronica, 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 Veronica. Hi, hi, and bye. Hi, and bye. Hi, and bye. Oh my gosh, I just saw you now. Hi, and bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't know if you were here earlier. Maybe I missed you, but if I didn't miss you, uh, I wanted to say hi and bye. Hi and bye. Thank you for coming in. Hopefully you enjoyed the replay if you watched it. And if you watched it, it's all about tips and designing. So you can scroll, fast forward, you see something you like, watch it. All right, all right, now I'm gone before I do get in trouble. Uh, before I do get in trouble, okay. And oh my gosh, Riley. Riley upgraded to the Action Ninja Designer. I guess Riley doesn't want to miss anything. She wants to keep trolling me out around the original troll the very first one the one that created the bridge riley ks gaming love you riley okay all right all right i'm already in trouble shelly maria rewrote it all right <laughs> bye